Chapter 1221. Killing. Xiao Yan appeared as though he did not hear the furious roar of the purple cloaked Du Zun. His body transformed into a blurry black line that rushed towards the large hall in a lightning-like manner. Within a couple of flashes, he had charged into the main door and disappeared within the corridor. The face of the purple clothed Du Zun twitched upon seeing this. He was just about to let out a furious cry when the fierce fist wind that headed his way forced him to change his expression and hurriedly receive it. Even he felt a kind of pressure in the face of this dark gold puppet. If he was careless, it was likely that he would be in some danger today. This thought flashed across the heart of the purple clothed Du Zun as the vast and mighty Du Qi surged within him. Dark black metal chains rolled out from his sleeves. After which, it whizzed and tore through the sky before ruthlessly struck towards the sky demon puppet. While a soul-stirring big battle had erupted outside of the Hall of Souls, Xiao Yan became just like a breeze as he charged into the interior of the hall. Before the experts from the Hall of Souls along the way could attack, they were already shaken by the powerful force until the spit out blood and withdraw. In an instant, no one actually dared to intervene and stop him. Brat, you dare to barge around my Hall of Souls. Are you seeking death? Although this place was only a branch hall of the Hall of Souls, its defensive strength was still not any weaker than some top-tier factions. Xiao Yan's rampage did not last for long before a furious cry resounded. Immediately, four figures rushed over from four different corners. After which, they stood on the path that Xiao Yan must pass like some metal towers. Black fog permeated the place, and traces of unusually vast and powerful aura was present. From the looks of these auras, their four people were actually all expert Du Zongs that had actually reached the level of six or seven stars. Bastard, this protector demands that you halt. A black fog surged from one of the four people after they appeared, revealing a sinister elderly face. His eyes stared at the black line rushing over in a dark and dense manner as he cried out in a cold voice. The four people did not say any additional useless words after the cry sounded. They let out an orderly furious roar. Majestic black fog surged out from within their bodies. After which, the black fog gathered together and directly transformed into an enormous black python that was hundreds of feet in size. It roared towards the sky and swung its huge tail, carrying a powerful wind pressure that violently struck towards Xiao Yan. Powerful wind pressure shook the hard ground into powder wherever the black giant python passed. Numerous crack lines rushed past that spot as they spread in a lightning-like fashion. Just four protectors alone actually dares to stop me? A cold smile flashed across Xiao Yan's face when he was faced with four Hall of Souls protectors who were quite powerful, stopping him. His forward charging body did not even pause a little. Purple brown flames swiftly surged out from within his body. After which, it transformed into an enormous purple brown fire dragon. The tail of the dragon was swung, and Xiao Yan's forward charging speed suddenly increased. After which, it became just like colliding meteorite and ruthlessly collided with the black giant python. Get lost. Bang. This powerful collision instantly erupted into a soul-shocking explosion. Energy ripples swept out from the point of collision like a storm. Some of the large stone pillars around suddenly cracked apart amidst a cracking sound. Those Hall of Souls guards nearby were also being affected by this frightening energy ripple. After which, their bodies flew backwards like kite with their string broken amidst a miserable screech. Finally, they heavily smashed onto the dark black walls. They were directly shaken into a cluster of blurry and bloody minced meat amidst a wave of cracking sound. The energy ripple spread and the expressions of the four Hall of Souls protector changed. He did not even have the time to withdraw when the energy ripple whizzed over. After which, it violently collided onto their bodies. Boom. The dense black fog over the four of them immediately became thin after suffering this kind of heavy blow. After which, their bodies flew backwards. Their bodies only slowly stabilized after having rubbed over the ground for nearly a hundred meters. However, they no longer possessed the strength to even stand. Mantis trying to block a car. The fierce attack forced back the four Du Zongs. After which, Xiao Yan let out a cold laughter. Some fierce glow immediately flashed across his eyes. His finger was flicked, and four purple-brown flames surged out. Next, it violently smashed onto the four Hall of Soul Protectors, who were seriously injured. The terrifying temperature of the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame caused a miserable cry to be emitted from the four of them. Finally, the black fog scattered amidst the earth-shaking miserable screech, revealing four somewhat illusory spiritual bodies. You are also spiritual bodies, yet you aid in the harm of your fellow kins. You ought to die. 
Xiao Yan's tone suddenly became dense as he faced the four souls that had terrified faces. He clenched his hand. Vast and mighty spiritual strength surged out from between his brows. Three spiritual bodies in the midair immediately emitted a bang and was shattered into nothingness. Xiao Yan sucked with his hand after using a thunderbolt-like tactic to kill the three Hall of Souls protectors. The soul of the final Hall of Soul protector was sucked into his palm. After which, he spoke in a sinister tone, where is the place where the souls are imprisoned? You only have one chance. Otherwise, your fate will be the same as those three earlier. The horror on the face of the Hall of Soul protector grew even denser when he saw the sinister expression that covered Xiao Yan's face. He quietly let out a bitter cry in his heart. Why did he step forward and intercept this fiend's speak? Xiao Yan's expression vaguely contained a savageness. Feng Zunji and the others were buying time for him outside. He did not have much spare time to waste. In the Lock Soul Hall. That Hall of Souls protector spoke in a terrified manner. Currently, he did not dare to hide anything. Those three companions of his earlier had been vaporized by Xiao Yan into nothingness in front of his eyes. That was a true vanquishment. It was impossible to revive them no matter what one did. Tell me the way. Otherwise, die. Xiao Yan's eyes were icy as he spoke. Turn left in front. The Hall of Souls protector hurried replied upon hearing this. Xiao Yan's feet stomped onto the ground after listening to these words. He once again transformed into a black shadow that rushed towards the deep regions of the large hall in a lightning-like fashion. With this Hall of Souls protector telling him the way, the subsequent journey was a little more relaxing. However, he was still hindered by many Hall of Souls experts along the way. There were quite a number of Du Zong class experts along the way. However, with Xiao Yan's current strength, it was basically impossible for him to find an opponent under the Du Zun class. Although these people were great in numbers, they were defeated relatively quickly under the incomparably ferocious 3000 Lotus Heart Flame of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan could be considered to have experienced many bloody battles along the way. Based on his rough estimate, it was likely that the number of Hall of Souls protectors who had died in his hands along this route at least numbered to 10. It was difficult for him to tabulate those who were even weaker. In any case, all it took was a slap, and those weaker Hall of Souls guards were directly swallowed by the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame, until not even dregs were left. However, the strength of these protectors were not very strong. The strongest was only around that of a 7-star Du Zong or so. Those stronger were quick to escape. Xiao Yan could kill them if he gave chase, but his main aim was currently to search for Yao Lao. He could not afford to waste time on this. Wherever Xiao Yan passed as he charged forward became a complete mess. Corpse cover the floor. At this moment, Xiao Yan was just like a killing god. A terrifying killing aura spread all over his body. Each time the purple-brown flame surged, it would be accompanied by countless of sharp miserable screams. At this moment, the new heavenly flame that was born after having swallowed the 3000 burning flame had also displayed its terrifying strength. Almost no one could stop Xi footsteps along the way. Bang. On a spacious corridor, Xiao Yan was expressionlessly inserting a hand covered by the purple-brown flame into the chest of a hall of soul protector. He looked at the latter's body, which was slowly vaporizing. After which, he randomly tossed the body aside as though he was throwing garbage. He glanced at the soul of the protector, which he was grabbing on his left hand, and spoke in an icy voice, how much further? The lock soul hall is at the end of the corridor. The Hall of Souls protector spoke with a frightened heart. The killing by Xiao Yan along the way had caused a chillness to spread deep within his soul. This terrifying fellow was likely someone that only an honorable elder could deal with. However, all of the honorable elders in the hall were currently being delayed outside. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. His expression became even darker and colder. The heart of the protector from the Hall of Soul felt cold after sensing the change in Xiao Yan's expression. His body suddenly shook and escaped from Xiao Yan's hand. However, before he could even flee for some distance, a hot wind had rushed over from behind him before swallowing him. After doing all these, Xiao Yan finally patted his hand with a cold expression. He had deep hatred towards the members of the Hall of Souls. As long as he thought of those spiritual bodies that these fellows had captured, he would not feel any burden in his heart when he killed these people. Xiao Yan's eyes looked towards the end of the corridor after finishing off this person. There was a dark black metal door at that spot. This door was currently tightly shut. Xiao Yan could vaguely sense the strange aura that was spreading out from behind it. Du Qi was quietly circulated around Xiao Yan's body as he hastened his footsteps a little. 
after which he arrived outside of the black door. A chillness surged within his eyes as he waved his sleeves. Purple-brown flame surged out from his sleeves. After which, it heavily collided onto the metal door. Bang. Regardless of how hard the metal door was, it could only directly burst apart under this fierce attack. After which, the scene behind the metal door appeared in Xiao Yan's sight. It was an extremely spacious square. Thousand feet stone pillars stood on the square, supporting the sky. Black chains spread like a spider web. Countless light clusters were suspended at the end of these chains. The interior of the light clusters were filled with illusory spiritual bodies. Although Xiao Yan had already seen this kind of situation twice, he involuntarily inhaled a gentle breath of cool air when he truly observed it from his actual body's point of view. Xiao Yan slowly walked into this square that was permeated with a strange deathly aura. He paused on a towering stone stage deep within the square. There was an exceptionally bright light cluster at that spot. An aura that caused Xiao Yan's entire body to tremble quietly spread from that spot. Xiao Yan's body was just like an arrow that left its bow as his feet pressed gently onto the ground. It rushed over the square in a lightning-like fashion. After a couple of breaths, it had appeared on a flat platform. His eyes were filled with shock as he looked at the interior of the light cluster. An old man with large chains lingering over his limbs was seated there. Xiao Yan's eyes became red. His knees were bent before he heavily knelt onto the stone stage. His voice contained a hoarseness that caused one to grieve. Teacher, this disciple is here. End of chapter. Chapter 1222. Old Ghost Jai Xing. This was the first time that Xiao Yan had personally seen Yao Lao ever since the latter was captured back then. That white-haired elderly form no longer had the calmness of back then. All it had was a weakness of an extremely old man. All of these was the source of Xiao Yan's heartache. Yao Lao's life might not be harmed during these years that he had landed in the hands of the Hall of Souls. However, it was clear that he did not live well. When Xiao Yan knelt down on the ground, the eyes of Yao Lao, who was within the light cluster, trembled slightly. After which, he slowly opened them. Turbid eyes looked at the red and eyes of the young man in front of him. He was startled for a moment before a weak pleased smile slowly surfaced on his face. His voice was hoarse as he said, little fellow. Has finally grown up. Xiao Yan could be said to merely be a youth with a soaring zeal and sharp edges when they parted back then. However, within these couple of years, the youth back then had already grown until such an extent. This short sentence caused the heartache Xiao Yan felt to reach its peak. He rubbed his eyes and swiftly adjusted his mood. Currently, he was in an extremely dangerous place and did not have much time to catch up. Everything could be discussed after he successfully leave the Death Soul mountain range. Xiao Yan slowly stood up. His eyes swept around the light cluster. After which, he extended his hand and placed it onto the light cluster. Vast and mighty spiritual strength immediately surged out from between his brows like floodwaters. An invisible ripple appeared on the light cluster. The ripple spread out from the spot in contact with Xiao Yan's palm before covering the entire light cluster. This spiritual strength possessed some scent of the soul state. Although Yao Lao was currently extremely weak, he still possessed his experience. The moment Xiao Yan displayed his spiritual strength, Yao Lao immediately sensed a familiar feeling from within it. A surprise quickly flashed across his eyes. Immediately, he felt even more pleased. The achievement Xiao Yan currently had far exceeded his expectations. After he was captured back then, the only thing that he was worried was that Xiao Yan would have no one to instruct him, resulting in his state being unable to advance. From the looks of it now, it seemed that it underestimated Xiao Yan's potential. Break. Xiao Yan cried out in a deep voice. A cold glint flashed over Xiao Yan's eyes as he looked at the increasingly dense invisible ripples on the light cluster. Boom. After his voice sounded, the light cluster immediately trembled and emitted a bang and cracked apart amidst a slight sound. Teacher, are you alright? Xiao Yan hurriedly helped Yao Lao up from the ground after breaking the light cluster. His eyes immediately looked at the four enormous python-like black chains. His fist involuntarily tightened. These bastards from the Hall of Souls. These are the lock soul chains. They are specially used to restrain souls. This thing is extremely hard. It is not easy to destroy it. Yao Lao looked at the chains that lingered over his limbs and involuntarily laughed. He said, however, these fellows really think very highly of the old me. They actually used such a large one. Xiao Yan knitted his brows slightly. His hand rubbed over the metal chain, and a kind of dark and dense chillness erupted along his palm. 
However, these dark and dense aura had just entered his body when it was refined into nothingness by the 3000 lotus heart flame. Sizzle. Xiao Yan's palm grabbed the chain. Purple brown flame immediately erupted from his palm. After which, it burned the dark black metal chain until the latter emitted waves of white smoke. This is. Yao Lao was startled when he saw the purple brown flame on Xiao Yan's palm. Immediately, he understood something. A joy surged within his eyes as he softly asked, You have swallowed another heavenly flame? Yes, it's the 3000 burning flame. Xiao Yan laughed. Looks like your encounters during these years are also extraordinary. Yao Lao sighed emotionally. An ordinary alchemist might not even find a single heavenly flame in their entire lifetime. It was unexpected that Xiao Yan was able to find it time and time again. Xiao Yan smiled. The purple brown flame on his hand was suddenly strengthened terrifying high temperature directly burned and scattered the black color on the metal chain. Moreover, those strange symbols on the metal chain were also scattered at this moment. Crack. Xiao Yan clenched his hand violently after the symbols disappeared. The metal chain was forcefully cracked apart. Xiao Yan felt a slight joy when he saw that the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame had such strength. He hurriedly continued in this manner, and the three others' large python-like chains were also burned and broken. Xiao Yan removed the burned chains from Yao Lao. Having lost these strange things, the weak expression between Yao Lao's brows was slightly reduced. Although his body was still weary, he was much better as compared to before. Yao Lao gently exercised his wrist. He looked at the strange chains that had finally been removed from his body. He lamented a little at that moment. It was unexpected that he, Yao Chen, would actually really have a chance to escape. Let's go. This Hall of Soul is extremely strange and unpredictable. It is best to leave first. Yao Lao looked around him. This Lock Soul Hall was still filled with a dense sinister aura. It also emitted a rich scent of death. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. His eyes suddenly glanced at the light clusters that filled the huge hall. A cold glint flashed in his eyes as he said, Since I am here, I should also destroy this place and allow these souls to escape. This will also create some chaos for the Hall of Soul. Xiao Yan clenched his hand after uttering these words. The purple brown flame was extended, transforming into a fire whip. The whip shook, and it drew an arc across the midair before violently being swung at those black chains in the midair of the large hall. However, these fire whips were about to make contact with the black chains in the midair when the space suddenly solidified. The fire whip appeared to have stuck onto a spatial wall, emitted a clear sound before it rebounded. There are still experts from the Hall of Souls. Quick, leave. Yao Lao spoke in a deep voice. His expression changed slightly when he saw the scene. Xiao Yan recovered almost instantly the moment that invisible spatial wall had appeared. There was no need for Yao Lao's reminder. He grabbed Yao Lao, and his body transformed into a thunderbolt that rushed towards the exterior of the large hall. Ha ha, Yao Chen, you have found a good disciple. He actually really dares to come to my hall of souls to snatch a person. Even the old me has to praise this boldness. Xiao Yan's figure withdrew explosively, while a laughter suddenly resounded over the interior of the large hall. Immediately, the space where Xiao Yan was withdrawing towards suddenly became distorted and turned into an invisible barrier. Qi. Xiao Yan's expression changed slightly upon sensing the barrier that was formed behind him. His foot stomped on the ground and he forcefully stabilized his body. After which, he raised his head, only to see a grayish-white clothed old man in the midair that was covered with black chains. The latter's feet were stepping on a chain as he smilingly looked towards them. This person is actually also a Duzun? Xiao Yan glanced over and his heart immediately sunk. The thing that he was most worried about had still occurred. The experts from the Hall of Souls guarding this place did not only comprise of the five Duzuns from the intelligence that they had gathered. Old Ghost Jai Xin? You are actually also here? Yao Lao looked at this old man. His expression changed slightly as he spoke in a deep voice. Ha ha, the Hall Chief values you greatly. Therefore, he has also dispatched me here. It is just that you did not discover me. The old man who was called Old Ghost Jai Xin smiled slightly. After which, he looked towards Xiao Yan and said, Moreover, the old me was planning to fish for a big one. You knew that I would come? Xiao Yan asked with a cold smile. It is something that will happen sooner or later. Old Ghost Jai Xin laughed and replied, You are the big fish. The Hall Chief's interest in you is even greater than Yao Chen. Of course, I am referring to that key of the Xiao clan. That thing should be with you. 
Although your father refused to say anything even if he is beaten to death, the most outstanding person in the current Xiao clan is you. It will be safest if the key is placed with you. Father? Xiao Yan's heart trembled slightly. A dense killing intent surged within his eyes. These bastards from the Hall of Soul. It seemed that they had hurt all of his kins. Do not fight with him. Leave first. You are no match for him. Yao Lao spoke in a deep voice when he saw that dense expression of Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan gritted his teeth and nodded. This old ghost Jai Xing always had a smiling manner. However, Xiao Yan could sense that this person was even more terrifying than old Mu Gu. Today, he could be considered to have fallen into a truly dangerous environment. If he did not go all out, forget about bringing Yao Lao away, even he himself would end up falling at this place. Since the old me has already revealed myself, how can I allow you to leave safely? Old ghost Jai Xing laughed. His old white hand was extended from under his sleeves. Vast and mighty black fog surged and instantly agglomerated into a hundred feet, large black fog handprint. A palm was slammed violently onto Xiao Yan. Hoot hoot. Xiao Yan's expression changed a little upon hearing the frightening rushing wind sound that was transmitted over. His hand seal also began to hurriedly change. Skyfire 3 mysterious change. First change. Second change. Third change. A cold cry hurriedly sounded within Xiao Yan's heart. His aura also soared abruptly at this moment. Purple brown flame spluttered out from his palm and transformed into a fire dragon. It let out a roar and violently collided with that palm. Bang! An earth shaking explosion resounded within the interior of the large hall. Frightening air wave forcefully broke some of the black chains nearby. Some light clusters were also sent flying. When the light clusters cracked apart, they revealed some spiritual bodies, which faces still had some pain and loss remaining on them. The air wave spread. Xiao Yan also steadily took over a dozen steps back. Blood churned within his body as a solemn expression flashed over his eyes. The strength of this old ghost Jai Xing was really terrifying. Based on his guess, it had at least reached the level of five stars. In other words, this old fellow should be the so-called Tianzin from the Hall of Soul. This old ghost has the strength of a peak five-star Du Zun. Do not fight him head on. Yao Lao swiftly said after seeing Xiao Yan being forced back. Teacher, enter the ring. Leave the rest to me. Xiao Yan said in a deep voice. Yao Chen was startled when he heard this. He immediately nodded. After which, his body moved and transformed into a light that rushed into the dark black ring on Xiao Yan's finger. If he was at his peak, it would naturally not be difficult to defeat this old ghost Jai Xin. However, his current condition was extremely weak, and he was unable to aid Xiao Yan. All he would do was to become the latter's burden. A fierce glint was revealed in Xiao Yan's eyes when he saw Yao Lao enter the ring. No matter who it was that stopped him today, he would definitely bring Yao Lao away from this terrible place. He would kill anyone who stopped him. End of chapter. Chapter 1223? Fooled. Kiki, are you finally about to go all out and stake your life? The old me really wished to see just whether anyone within the current Xiao clan still possessed the domineering aura from when Xiao Xuan was still alive. Old ghost Jai Xing involuntarily laughed after seeing Xiao Yan kept Yao Lao into his ring. Xiao Yan's expression was cold and indifferent. The vast and mighty Du Qi within his veins were roaring wildly, appearing like numerous fire dragons. The current him was undoubtedly at a state where he had unleashed his strength to its peak after having swallowed the 3000 burning flame. Of course, he also understood that if he did not unleash all his strength in the face of old ghost Jai Xing's peak five-star Du Zun's strength, it was likely that he would not even possess the opportunity to attack. Hand the key from the Xiao clan to the old me and the old me can spare your life. Old ghost Jai Xing smiled leisurely and spoke with a feigned voice in the face of the increasingly mighty Du Qi from Xiao Yan. With his peak five-star Du Zun's strength, there was no need for him to even be a little afraid of Xiao Yan. That enormous gap between their class was sufficient for him to view Xiao Yan as an ant. Xiao Yan let out a cold laughter within his heart in the face of old ghost Jai Xing's words. He completely ignored it. His eyes were rotated all around as he searched for a way to break through. Ugh, in the case, the old me shall do it myself. Old ghost Jai Xing sighed when he saw this. His hand was spread, and his five fingers faced Xiao Yan. Immediately, his fingers shook and five vicious black fog shot out from the tip of his fingers. After which, it agglomerated into a strange black chain amidst some crashing sound. The chain wrapped around in the midair before emitting a chi sound and directly penetrated into the empty space. 
within a blink of an eye, it had appeared above Xiao Yan's head. This sudden thunderbolt-like attack also caused Xiao Yan's expression to change. Silver glow flickered under his feet, and he swiftly took a couple of hurried steps back in a matter that was not sufficiently fast. Chi. The chain violently pierced downwards from the mid-air. After which, it adhered to the front of Xiao Yan and rushed past. Finally, it was ruthlessly inserted into the hard black rocks. It shook slightly and the rocks around immediately cracked, forming numerous crack lines. Your reaction is not bad. Old ghost Jai Xin laughed faintly. He flicked his finger and the chain rose in a lightning-like fashion. It became just like a poisonous snake as it carried a sharp wind that swept towards all the lethal spots around Xiao Yan's body. The chain attacks possessed an extremely frightening speed. Numerous afterimages remained in the sky, causing one to have difficulty defending against them. Clang clang clang. Xiao Yan clenched his hand in the face of this attack by old ghost Jai Xin. The heavy Shuin ruler appeared with a flash. The body of the ruler moved, forming some densely packed ruler shadow defense that received all the chain attacks. Clang. The chains heavily pressed onto the heavy ruler. Those waves of frightening force directly caused Xiao Yan's legs to rub onto the ground and form a deep scar. Only that did it gradually stabilized. His hand even vaguely felt a little numb. An expert at the peak of the five-star Du Zun class is really terrifying. After a brief exchange, Xiao Yan also clearly understood the strength of this old ghost Jai Xin. The solemnness immediately surged within his heart. It would likely not be as easy as he imagined if he wished to successfully free himself today. By being able to receive an attack from the old me with the strength of a nine-star Du Zong. It must be said that you are unique. Old ghost Jai Xin looked at Xiao Yan with a solemn face. He smiled and his body suddenly inclined forward slowly. He was just like a wild beast that was about to eat. However, the old me does not have the time to waste with you. After finishing you off, the old me still needs to finish off those troublesome fellows outside. Old ghost Jai Xin laughed. His foot took a gentle step forward. After which, the space wiggled and his body disappeared almost instantly. Xiao Yan sensed a shriveled hand gently being extended from the empty space beside him, the moment that old ghost Jai Xin disappeared. After which, it grabbed at his throat. This dry folded hand might not be covered by any Du Qi, but a dark black spatial scar was being directly formed wherever it passed. Xiao Yan's expression was grave. His footsteps were hurriedly withdrawn, and the heavy ruler in his hand was violently hacked downwards in an instant. Flame splitting tsunami. Xiao Yan cried out furiously in his heart. A ruler glow that was hundreds of feet white immediately rushed out from the tip of his ruler. After which, it hacked heavily onto the shriveled hand. However, this seemingly fierce wind merely caused the latter to shake a little. Soon after, the hand increased its speed. In a flash, it had already appeared in front of Xiao Yan and was gently slamming towards his chest. This palm was extremely swift. Even with Xiao Yan's speed, he did not possess the ability to dodge it. At this critical moment, his heavy ruler was placed vertically in front of his body. Clang. The shriveled hand gently landed on the heavy ruler, and a clear sound immediately appeared. Xiao Yan's expression changed drastically when the two collided. That seemingly skinny firewood-like bone appeared like a mountain. It was incomparably heavy. At the moment of contact, Xiao Yan's hand emitted a slight sound of bone being pressed. Bang. Xiao Yan's legs were deeply embedded into the rock under the frightening force. At this moment, that hard rock was just like Binkard, appearing extremely fragile. Xiao Yan forcefully received this palm from old ghost Jai Xin. The blood within Xiao Yan's body churned even more furiously. His heavy ruler was hurriedly flipped and his feet stepped on the ground. Xiao Yan's body adhered to the ground as he rushed backwards. After which, he stomped on the ground and straightened his body. He looked at the heavy Shuin ruler, only to be surprised to discover that a shallow palm imprint was actually being left behind. Although the palm imprint was not deep, it was still quite shocking to Xiao Yan. The heavy Shuin ruler had been his weapon all these while. He could not be more certain of the hardness of the latter. However, this old ghost Jai Xing was the first one who was able to leave a palm imprint on it. What a tough fellow. The space a couple of dozens of feet in front of Xiao Yan became distorted. Old ghost Jai Xing's figure slowly appeared. He glanced at the heavy ruler in Xiao Yan's hand and smiled faintly. Xiao Yan's eyes cautiously looked at this old fellow. At this moment, he must first leave this lock soul hall. Things might be much easier once he reached the outside and obtained the help from little fairy doctor and the rest. 
If he continued to to be entangled in this place, he would sooner or later be exhausted to death by this old fellow. Even Xiao Yan, who had activated the Skyfire 3 mysterious change, would not be able to block an attack of that level many times. Kiki, do not play any tricks. Those are useless in front of absolute strength. Old ghost Jai Xin laughed, appearing to be aware of what Xiao Yan was thinking. After which, his toes pressed on the ground and he charged towards Xiao Yan like an arrow that had left its bow. This time around, the smile on his face had clearly become much denser. Clearly, he did not intend to continue dragging it out with Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan also sensed the change of old ghost Jai Xin. Silver glow flashed under his feet and his body rushed backwards. When he was pulling back, a purple-brown flame swiftly gathered onto his palm. After which, it rapidly transformed into an exquisite fire lotus. A wave of extremely wild and violent energy spread out from the fire lotus. After his spiritual strength broke through to the soul state, the rate at which Xiao Yan agglomerated the fire lotus flame also became increasingly smooth. The fire lotus could be formed with just a thought. Xiao Yan ruthlessly tossed the purple-brown fire lotus towards old ghost Jai Xin after it appeared. After which, his swiftly withdrawing figure became even faster. Bang! The fire lotus suddenly exploded like a thunder when it was only five feet away from old ghost Jai Xin. It resounded over the sky, and a terrifying fire wave swept out. It shook some of the sky-supporting pillars in this large hall, until numerous crack lines that were visible to the naked eye appeared. The entire square was destroyed until it was a mess. Xiao Yan did not relax even a little after the fire lotus exploded. He was aware that by just relying on this kind of angry Buddha lotus flame, it would not be possible to truly kill old ghost Jai Xin. His expectations was not wrong. Soon after the fire lotus explosion occurred, an elder figure slowly walked out from the fire wave. Xiao Yan glanced and found that it was old ghost Jai Xin. However, the latter's clothes had been torn at this moment. At a glance, he appeared a little miserable. Clearly, the might of the fire lotus had exceeded his expectations. You are indeed worthy of being someone from the Xiao clan. With just the strength of a nine-star Duzong, you are able to display such a powerful attack. Old ghost Jai Xing started at Xiao Yan. A dense expression flashed over his face. Xiao Yan's expression did not change. A glow flashed over his eyes as his foot suddenly stomped onto the ground. His body rose and numerous purple-brown fire glow surged out from within his body and shot out explosively. Clang clang. The fire glow shot out and ruthlessly hacked onto the dense chains that were hanging in the mid-air within the large hall. These chains were not as troublesome as the chains that had trapped Yao Lao. All of them cracked with the flame hacking over them, after which, the countless number of light clusters within the large hall quietly broke apart. Numerous painful and lost-looking souls slowly opened their eyes. These souls were stunned for a moment after they opened their eyes. After which, he suddenly understood something. Immediately, a screech resounded over the place, and all of them fled out of the large hall in a chaotic fashion. You are seeking death. Old ghost Jai Xing had a change in expression when he saw that Xiao Yan actually dared to release so many souls. His body moved and transformed into a ray of light that rushed towards the ladder. Humph. Xiao Yan let out a cold snort as he watched old ghost Jai Xing rushing over with a killing aura all over his body. He clenched his hand, and three purple black beads appeared within it. Surprisingly, it was the fire lightning bead that Xiao Yan had refined using those 3000 burning flame within the star region. Swoosh swoosh. Xiao Yan swung his arm. Three fire lightning beads formed a triangular shape as they rushed over towards old ghost Jai Xing. After which, they suddenly exploded when they were around 10 feet from the ladder. Bang! A frightening air wave was suddenly blasted apart in the mid-air. Quite a number of those surrounding black chains were broken. Immediately, souls began to dance within the entire large hall. After which, they swarmed and fled out of the hall. Old ghost Jai Xing rushed out forcefully from within the frightening air wave. At this moment, there was vaguely some dense fury on his face. These strange tactics of Xiao Yan caused even him to suffer some loss. Bastard. These souls have all fled. In that case, I will take you as compensation. Star plucking hand. There was a black vapor lingering over old ghost Jai Xing's face. His right hand had suddenly swelled at this moment. After which, his body moved and he appeared in front of Xiao Yan in a ghost-like fashion. His large hand suddenly grabbed and the surrounding space around Xiao Yan solidified. Immediately, the latter could only just watch this large hand being swiftly magnified in front of him. Little fellow Xiao Yan, it's over. 
Old ghost Jai Xin revealed a ferocious smile on his face. Immediately, he clenched his hand abruptly. The space around Xiao Yan collapsed almost instantly. When the space collapsed, the blurry blood and flesh that old ghost Jai Xing expected did not appear. That body of Xiao Yan emitted a bang in his eyes and turned into nothingness. This, this scene caused old ghost Jai Xing to be stunned. Since when did the strength of the star plucking hand become this terrifying? No, this is a fake. However, this old ghost Jai Xing was also an extremely old and experienced person. He abruptly recovered after being startled for a moment in his head. His eyes hurriedly turned towards the exit of the Lock Soul Hall. A figure had already fled from that spot like an agile monkey. From the appearance of the back, who else could it be but Xiao Yan? The expression of old ghost Jai Xing was so gloomy that it was frightening after he saw Xiao Yan's figure disappearing. He did not expect that he would actually be fooled by a younger generation in such a manner today. Xiao Yan, the old me shall see just where you can run to today. A low and deep furious roar instantly resounded within the interior of the large hall. End of chapter. Chapter 1224. Situation. Xiao Yan's body did not pause even a little, despite hearing the furious roar that was transmitted over from a great distance. Purple-brown flame lingered over his body, causing him to appear like a fire beast on a rampage. Those remaining guards within the Hall of Soul hurriedly dodged when they saw this fiend charging out. Those protectors that had been killed in Xiao Yan's hands earlier had caused them to be completely frightened. Who would dare to step forward and stop him now? Without anyone stopping him, Xiao Yan's speed was also raised to its peak. He could sense that old ghost Jai Xin was swiftly giving chase. Clearly, that old fellow had been truly infuriated after being fooled by his 3000 lightning illusionary body. This old bastard. Xiao Yan cursed quietly within his heart. If it was not because of this old ghost Jai Xing, this trip would have progressed extremely smoothly. Unfortunately. The peak of a 5-class Du Zun's strength was sufficient to cause a reversal in the strength of the lineup from both parties this time around. Xiao Yan cursed a little in his heart. After which, he raised his head and looked at the exit a short distance away. His feet suddenly stomped onto the ground, and his body turned into a purple-brown light that shot out with a swoosh sound. A couple of extremely fierce and violent force in the sky was violently smashed down as Xiao Yan rushed out of the Hall of Souls. This shocked Xiao Yan while he hurriedly dodged them. His body moved and he quickly rushed to the midair. Only then did he have the free time to watch the situation outside of the Hall of Soul. Currently, the valley was a complete mess. Enormous crack lines like huge savage mouths covered the entire valley. Some of the crack lines even climbed up the mountain slope. Large rocks continuously rolled down from the surrounding cliffs, smashing the valley until it shook continuously, appearing as though an earthquake had occurred. Human figures crossed each other in the mid-air of the valley. Vast and mighty Du Qi permeated the sky. Ten powerful and frightening auras fluctuated in the sky. In the face of this unprecedented intense battle, the space of this place had become unusually unstable. Numerous crack lines surfaced like large pythons, causing those Hall of Souls protectors to feel a palpitation within their hearts. They did not dare to intervene in a battle at this level. Other than the five extremely intense battles in the sky, there was another battleground that had attracted Xiao Yan's attention. It was the spot where Zi Yan was located. No elite Du Zun went to disturb this little girl. Hence, she could only go and find some Hall of Souls protectors to vent her anger. The strength of this little girl had undoubtedly soared greatly after being missing for a period of time. However, the strange thing was that Xiao Yan was actually unable to tell Zi Yan's actual strength with his spiritual perception. That manner was as though there was something that had completely hid this girl's strength. Although Xiao Yan usually unable to sense it, from the way Zi Yan used a palm to strike a protector that had reached the strength of a six-star Du Zong until he spat out blood and flew backwards, the strength of this girl should be quite strong. Xiao Yan's eyes swiftly swept over the situation in this area. He let out a sigh. From this manner, it seemed that Xiao Yan's group had not fallen into a disadvantage. The five Du Zuns on the Hall of Souls side had the strength of three stars or so. Hence, other than Tai Jian Zunji, who was barely able to hang on, the remaining four all firmly took the upper hand. The person has been rescued. Scatter. In this situation, Xiao Yan no longer had the time to explain anything. He let out a loud cry after discerning the situation. Upon hearing Xiao Yan's cry in the sky, a joy surged up the face of Feng Zunji and the others. 
However, their opponents had unleashed a wild attacks at this moment, firmly pestering them and causing them to be unable to escape. Xiaoyan frowned tightly as he watched the extremely chaotic battlegrounds in the sky. This kind of situation was far more complicated than what he had expected. Chi Chi. Xiaoyan had naturally attracted the attention of some Hall of Soul experts around when he appeared. They might not possess the qualification to participate in the fight above, but they thought that it was possible to use their numbers to delay Xiaoyan. Hence, three figures rushed over. The black chains in their hands were like straight sharp spears which pierced explosively towards Xiaoyan's head. Get lost. Xiaoyan's expression turned cold as he sensed the attacks of these three Hall of Souls protectors. His hand was suddenly extended, and he directly grabbed the three chains. His hand shook and purple-brown fire dragons roared from his sleeves. After which, they rushed through the chain and heavily struck onto the chest of the three Hall of Souls protectors. The bodies of the three protectors immediately flew backwards after suffering such heavy blow. Finally, they violently collided onto a stone pillar by the side. The black fog that lingered over their bodies became much thinner in an instant. Those experts from the Hall of Souls around Xiaoyan also had faces filled with shock when they saw the latter randomly defeating the three protectors. Their forward charging bodies hurriedly halted, and they no longer dared to easily charge forward. Since you have come, you can forget about leaving. Xiaoyan had just stepped back after forcing away the three protectors when the roof of the enormous hall suddenly burst apart. A figure rose to the sky as a dense cold laughter resounded over the place. This is bad. That old ghost has come chasing. Xiaoyan's expression immediately changed upon hearing this cold laughter. Spatial barrier. Seal. Old ghost Jai Xing swept his dark dense eyes over those battlegrounds from the sky. After which, they paused on Xiaoyan's body. The denseness of his face became even riches. Both of his hands swiftly formed some strange seals as he cried out in a deep voice. After old ghost Jai Xing's cry sounded, the space of the valley suddenly began to fluctuate intensely. After which, circular folds spread. They became like clothes stacked onto each other as they were suspended in the empty sky. Old ghost Jai Xing? Feng Zunji, who was being entangled with his opponent, also discovered old ghost Jai Xing. His face changed drastically as he involuntarily cried out. Feng Zhan, you really won't give up. This time around, you have even barge into my hall of soul. Old ghost Jai Xing's eyes were sinister as he glanced at Feng Zunji and said. Feng Zunji's expression was gloomy. His palm violently struck onto the honorable elder of the Hall of Soul in front of him, who had reached the strength of a three-star Du Zun, and forced the latter to take a step back. The current situation had somewhat exceeded their control. The appearance of this old ghost Jai Xing could have considered to have turned the situation of this place around. If something went wrong, it was likely that quite a lot of deaths would occur in this group of theirs today. Once the old me has finished off this little fellow, I will let all of you know that my hall of soul is not a place where you can come and go as you please. Old ghost Jai Xing laughed coldly. Immediately, his dark and dense eyes were turned towards Xiao Yan below. His voice was dense as he spoke, you dare to fool the old me with just the strength of a Du Zong. This is the first time that the old me has met with such a thing. Old ghost Jai Xing stepped gently onto the empty air after his words sounded and walked towards Xiao Yan. Black fog surged out from within his body in all directions. That might cause one to feel shock. The strength of a five-star Du Zun was indeed unusually frightening. Xiaoyan's expression also changed slightly as he looked at old ghost Jai Xing, who was stepping over the black fog that permeated the sky and arrived with great killing intent. This old fellow was obviously planning to personally kill him. However, with Xiaoyan's current strength, it was impossible for him to truly be a match for old ghost Jai Xing even if he used the Skyfire 3 mysterious change. Of course, this did not mean that Xiao Yan was completely just a pile of meat on a chopping board waiting to be slaughtered. The current him had already completely subdued the 3000 burning flame. He could be considered to be in possession of four types of heavenly flame. If he used four types of heavenly flames to merge into an angry Buddha lotus flame, that might would definitely be far from what the annihilation lotus flame that was created from the life-transforming flame could compare with. However, Xiao Yan required sufficient time to use this thing. With the strength of old ghost Jai Xing, he would definitely not provide Xiao Yan with sufficient time to prepare that kind of great killing weapon. Currently, the elite Du Zuns on their side had already been held back by the honorable elders from the Hall of Souls. The only one who was still free to act was Zi Yan. 
This girl's strength might have currently soared and that her actual form was an ancient void dragon, but she was still young. It was impossible for her to be a match for old ghost Jiaxin. Let me help you hold him back. While Xiao Yan's eyes were flickering, Ziyan, who was a short distance away, appeared to have sensed his thoughts. Her delicate small body leaped over the midair and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. Her small face was filled with seriousness as she spoke. Can you do it? Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment before asking in a worried manner. Can you still find someone else now? Ziyan replied without even turning her head. Xiao Yan was speechless. He could only clench his teeth and speak in a deep voice, help me buy some time. Be careful. Pull back if you are really unable to do it. Ziyan nodded her small head slightly. Her little hands suddenly formed a couple of strange seals. Immediately, an intense purple light surged out from within her body. Under this purple light, Ziyan's lovely little body suddenly grew rapidly. Within a short couple of breaths, she had turned from a little girl into a tall purple-haired great beauty who appeared extremely sexy. That alluring manner was actually the same as the one that Xiao Yan had seen in the small valley back then. Ziyan pulled a tread of purple hair behind her ear after transforming into this appearance. She turned her head, only to see Xiao Yan's stunned manner. Her pretty face reddened and she immediately glared viciously at him. However, she had forgotten that she was no longer that little girl from earlier. By performing such an expression, she had instead appear extremely bewitching, causing one's heart to pound. You have really undergone a big change. Xiao Yan laughed bitterly and shook his head. He immediately inhaled a deep breath of air and swiftly pulled back. His voice was deep as he said, I'll leave him to you. Be careful. Xiao Yan pulled his hands back while he withdrew. The purple-brown flame appeared. After which, they separated, turning into three clusters of different colored heavenly flames that suspended in front of him. While Xiao Yan had moved his hand and prepared a great killing weapon, Ziyan's pretty eyes had also become unusually grave. She firmly stared at old ghost Jai Xing a short distance away. It was possible for her to sense a truly dangerous aura on the latter's body. This time around, it was no longer just a game. In this current situation, Ziyan was also clearly aware that this old ghost Jai Xing was the greatest variable. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest were current unable to free themselves. If he was allowed to charge into those battlegrounds, Little Fairy Doctor and the rest would definitely be swiftly defeated. At that time, everything would truly be over. Therefore, no matter what happened, she must hold this old fellow back. She needed to delay him until Xiao Yan successfully unleashed that great killing weapon. Only then would they be able to safely withdraw from this rescue operation today. Otherwise, their group would truly suffer heavy casualties. All the hope was on whether she could buy sufficient time for Xiao Yan. End of chapter. Chapter 1225. Delay. Old ghost Jai Xing frowned slightly as he looked at Zi Yan, who was blocking in front. His eyes rotated twice over the ladder. For some unknown reason, he discovered that he was actually unable to see through Zi Yan's actual strength. While he could not see through it, he could still sense that Zi Yan was unable to pose much of a threat to him. Perhaps it is some unique items that can shield one's aura. Old ghost Jai Xing muttered to himself within his heart. Immediately, his eyes turned towards Xiao Yan behind. At this moment, the latter shook the ring on his finger after summoning three types of heavenly flames. A wisp of dense white flame slowly rose from it. Four types of heavenly flames. Seeing this scene, old ghost Jai Xing could not help but shrink his eyes slightly despite his calmness. His expression also changed a little. The might of something like the heavenly flame was extremely great. However, it was incredibly rare. One would be considered to be greatly blessed to obtain one of them. However, Xiao Yan's hands had four types of heavenly flames. How could this not cause old ghost Jai Xing's heart to tremble? This brat is indeed a little mysterious. From the looks of it, he seemed to be preparing to unleash some extremely powerful attack. Old Ghost Jai Xing guessed Xiao Yan's intention after seeing the latter's solemn expression. Although he was uncertain about just how powerful the Du skill that Xiao Yan had prepared was, his usually cautious character would not allow Xiao Yan to successfully display it. This was the case even if he did not think that Xiao Yan could turn the situation around. Brat, do not continue to act recalcitrant. This will only cause your fate to be increasingly painful. Old Ghost Jai Xing laughed in a dark and cold manner, while this thought flashed within his heart. His feet stepped on the empty space, and he slowly walked towards Ziyan. Vast and mighty black fog lingered behind him, and a pressure spread. 
This had caused the aura of quite a number of Hall of Souls experts to become a little sluggish. Faced with old ghost Jai Xing slowly walking over, Zian's pretty face also became increasingly solemn. A rich purple light surged out from within her body, and her hand was also tightly clenched. Are you going to step aside yourself or do you wish for the old me to attack? The old me does not know how to go easy on a beauty like those young people. Old ghost Jai Xing slowly extended his hand after stopping a couple of dozen feet in front of Zi Yan. He aimed it at Zi Yan from a distance and spoke in a faint voice. Chi, just attack if you want to. Why do you have to say so much nonsense? Zi Yan merely curled her lips and laughed in the face of the enormous pressure from old ghost Jai Xing. You are indeed the same type as that brat. Even your tone is this dislikable. Old ghost Jai Xing's face became a little gloomy. A chillness suddenly surged over his eyes. Immediately, he clenched his hand that was aiming at Zi Yan. After old ghost Jai Xing clenched his hand, an invisible ripple immediately spread in a lightning-like fashion. Soon after, the space around Zi Yan appeared to have been pinched by an enormous invisible hand. It suddenly sunk amidst a wave of cracking sound. The space around Zi Yan ruthlessly compressed towards her. If one was to firmly press onto that majestic force, even the flesh of an expert at the peak of the Du Zong class would immediately burst apart. However, when the compressing space was about to touch Zi Yan's body, that purple glow lingering around her suddenly fluctuated. Immediately, it spread. When it did so, the sinking space that was violently compressing inwards solidified. After which, it slowly disappeared into nothingness. You are still too tender to be playing spatial force in front of this grand aunt. Zi Yan randomly resolved this spatial compression. After which, she curled her little mouth and spoke in an elderly manner. Interesting. A surprise flashed across old ghost Jai Xing's eyes when he saw that Zi Yan had easily resolved this spatial pressure that even someone at the peak of the Du Zong class would be helpless against. He immediately laughed coldly and clenched his hand. After which, a punch was thrown without any fancy move. Bang. This punch from old ghost Jai Xing had just been thrown when the majestic black fog immediately fluctuated in a monstrous manner. While it wiggled intensely, it transformed into a thousand feet large enormous black giant python. It subsequently roared towards the sky. With a swing of its huge tail, it emitted a ripping sound and tore through the empty space. At the same time, it carried an incomparable wind and rushed over towards Zian. The black large python rushed through the sky. That powerful wind pressure that was created directly caused a couple of hundred feet long gully on the ground of the valley, even though it was thousands of feet away. Some large rocks burst apart on the spot. Zian's face also changed slightly in the face of this ferocious attack by old ghost Jai Xing. A rich purple light surged out from within his body. His hand was also clenched tightly. Purple light vaguely agglomerated into a blurry dragon head on his fist. Ancient void fist. Zian let out a delicate cry. Purple glow suddenly erupted from her hand like a volcano. Immediately, a purple light large dragon that was a couple of hundred feet large left his hand while carrying a sharp palm wind and a dense dragon's might. It roared towards the sky and violently collided with the large black python. Bang! A soul-stirring sound immediately erupted when the two collided. Terrifying air waves swept apart in the sky like a wind storm. The cliffs around the valley and the southern square collapsed on the spot. Enormous stones rolled down. Finally, the heavily landed onto the bottom of the valley, emitting a loud sound as they did so. Groan. Zian's delicate body continuously pulled back as the frightening air wave surged over. A low moan was emitted from her throat. Fortunately, she did not suffer any injuries. The air wave raged in the sky for a moment before finally scattering. Those gazes that old ghost Jai Xin used to look towards Zian also became increasingly strange. Although the punch from Zian earlier was strong, it was impossible to completely receive his palm attack. From his senses, that purple dragon light had cut open a spatial crack line when the two collided and sent the majority of the attack by the black python into the empty space. This mysterious fist technique was something that old ghost Jai Xing had never even heard of. What a strange fist technique. Old ghost Jai Xing laughed in a strange manner. Immediately, his eyes glanced at Xiao Yan's direction. This glance caused his entire body to be filled with cold sweat. This was because Xiao Yan was already forcefully kneading the four types of heavenly flames together. Looking from a distance, it appeared just like an extremely wild and violent fireball. A terrifying temperature spread from that spot. Old ghost Jai Xin could clearly sense that the moisture in this entire place was swiftly being vaporized. 
those green grass in the valley was swiftly withering at the speed visible to the naked eyes. This brat is a little strange. I cannot delay any longer. This strange scene finally caused old ghost Jai Xin to feel a little uneasy. He was naturally clearly aware of the might of the heavenly flame. Moreover, the strength of the four types of heavenly flame being stacked on each other. Even he would likely feel terrible should he be struck by it. This thought flashed across old ghost Jai Xin's heart. His expression swiftly became dark and dense. With a flash of his body, he appeared in front of Zian in a ghost-like fashion. He slammed with his large hand, and a vast and mighty force slammed towards Zian's chest in a lightning-like fashion, while carrying a frightening shape shattering strength. Faced with old ghost Jai Xing, who had suddenly used lethal attacks, there was a slight change in the expression on Zian's pretty face. She could not pull back at this moment. Otherwise, should she end up giving the former an opportunity, he might interrupt Xiao Yan's heavenly flame merger. Hence, she could only step forward. Purple light lingered over her as her hand directly collided head-on with old ghost Jai Xing. Bang bang bang. Two figures followed each other like shadows in the sky. Each time the purple light and the black fog collided, it would bring about a thunder-like explosion. At the same time, numerous muffled groan would continuously appear. Bang. Another fierce collision occurred in the sky. The purple-colored figure was finally unable to hold out any longer. A mouthful of bright red blood was involuntarily spat out from her mouth. Her body was also shaken until she continuously pulled back. It was a moment later before she stabilized her body. That pretty face of hers was filled with a paleness. She was no match for old ghost Jai Xing when it came to this kind of head-on clash. Was it not because Zi Yan had a strong constitution and that she was born with great strength, it was likely that the veins in her body would have been forcefully shattered during these dozen over palm collision. After all, an expert at the peak of a five-star Du Zun was really too strong. However, compared with the pale pretty face of Zi Yan, a great storm was brewed within old ghost Jai Xing's heart. After exchanging blows, he clearly understood that the former's strength was merely that of a Du Zong. However, this seemingly gentle and weak girl was even more terrifying than Xiao Yan. Not only did she forcefully received over a dozen punches from him, but that terrifying strength that was vaguely reflected had actually caused his hand to become a little numb. This girl. Just what kind of monster is she? The corner of old ghost Jai Xing's mouth twitched and a killing intent suddenly surged within his eyes. These people were not ordinary people. They must never be left alive to cause future troubles. Otherwise, the next time they meet, the one who was unlucky might be him instead. Star plucking hand. The expression of old ghost Jai Xing finally became completely dark and solemn as killing intent surged within his heart. He densely looked at Zi Yan, who was watching him with caution. After which, he let out a cold laugher. Black fog surged over his hand before he suddenly grabbed it. This grab was extremely strange. This was because old ghost Jai Xing's hand had strangely disappeared when he did so. Only his arm was still left outside that space. A rich sense of danger surged within Zian's heart when she saw this strange scene. Her body hurriedly withdrew. However, she suddenly sensed a chill on her neck when he was pulling back. Immediately, a great force was transmitted over and firmly grabbed her neck. Die. You are the one who will damn well die. A killing intent surged within the eyes of old ghost Jai Xing when his hand grabbed Zian's neck. He was just about to kill her when a spatial crack line was suddenly formed a short distance away. Immediately, a strong tower-like figure rushed out from it. His fist violently smashed towards old ghost Jai Xing's head. That manner was such that old ghost Jai Xing's head would burst apart with a bang, should he be struck by it even with his strength. This sudden unexpected change caused old ghost Jai Xing to be shocked. It was definitely impossible to adopt a life for a life method. Hence, he released Zi Yan in a lightning-like fashion, and his palm collided with the metal fist that was fiercely charging over. Bang! A terrifying storm erupted. Old ghost Jai Xin took two continuous steps back. That strong body of his flew backwards. After which, it landed beside Zi Yan in a somewhat staggering manner. Cough! Big fellow, didn't you go and roam the continent? Zi Yan held her throat and coughed. After which, she looked at the large man beside her and gasped with surprise. The big man was naturally Xiong Zhan, whom Zi Yan had brought out from the pill realm. At this moment, he also let out a dry laughter. After which, he carefully looked at the spatial crack line that had been torn earlier. He mumbled, damn it, it is not that the old me wished to come, but I was thrown over. 
Old ghost Jai Xing had a gloomy expression as he looked at Xiang Zhan from a short distance away. After sensing that the latter was also a Du Zun, his eyelids twitched involuntarily. His expression changed abruptly before he could speak. After which, his eyes hurriedly turned towards the direction that Xiao Yan was located, only to see an exquisitely beautiful fire lotus formed by four colors, slowly being suspended in Xiao Yan's palm. An annihilation-like strength that caused his heart to feel a little chilled quietly spread. Through the delay caused by Zi Yan, Xiao Ina had finally managed to merge and form an annihilation fire lotus that was created from four types of heavenly flames. End of chapter. Chapter 1226 both sides suffering losses. The fire lotus was merely the size of a palm and was suspended over Xiao Yan's palm. The core of the lotus was made up of four colors. At a glance, it appeared incomparably beautiful. However, under this beautiful surface hid an annihilation like terrifying strength. Xiao Yan's expression had become quite pale at this moment. A heavenly flame that was merged from four types of heavenly flames was not as easy to create as he had thought. Although he had the experience from merging the Annihilation Fire Lotus in the past, the life-transforming flame was not a true heavenly flame. There was naturally less trouble when merging it. This time around, however, he had used four types of genuine heavenly flames. The difficulty of merger was exposed almost immediately. If it was not because Xiao Yan's strength could be considered to have soared and that his soul had advanced to the so-called soul state it was likely that he would not be able to truly successfully merge the Annihilation Fire Lotus, even if he possessed four types of heavenly flames. Moreover, the Fire Lotus at this moment was not a complete success. The destructive energy within it was far too terrifying. Even Xiao Yan could only carefully mediate it until an equilibrium. Only then did he dare to use it to deal with an enemy. Cold sweat continuously appeared on Xiao Yan's forehead. After which, it followed his face and fell like flowing water. His eyes were staring intently at the fire lotus slowly rotating on his palm. Vast and mighty spiritual strength was continuously poured into it. What a terrifying destructive strength. Old ghost Jai Xing in the sky a short distance away also had a drastic change in expression because of this scene. The destructive force that was spreading from within the fire lotus even caused an uneasiness to surge into his heart. How is it possible for this brat to display such a frightening attack with his nine-star Du Zong's strength? The corner of old ghost Jai Xing twitched slightly. Immediately, murderous desire surged in his eyes. This person must not be allowed to live. With this thought that was filled with murderous intent flashing over his heart, the expression of old ghost Jai Xing had instantly become ferocious. His body moved and he transformed into an afterimage while rushing towards the location where Xiao Yan was located. He could sense that the attack of Xiao Yan had yet to be fully completed. If he interrupted it at this moment, he would definitely cause Xiao Yan to suffer a backlash. At that time, he would not only be able to destroy this terrifying attack, but he would also be able to finish off Xiao Yan while doing so. It was really killing two birds with one stone. The figure of old ghost Jai Xing had just moved when it was discovered by Zi Yan. She hurriedly cried, big fellow. Quick. Stop him. Xiang Zhan by the side laughed bitterly upon hearing this. All he could do was to nod his head. His feet stomped onto the empty air, and his body rushed out like a cannonball. He caught up with old ghost Jai Xing after accelerating for a couple of times. With a furious cry, he raised his metallic fist and violently smashed towards the latter's back. Zoom. Xiang Zhan's actual body was an ancient dragon bear. The strength of his physical body was extremely frightening. When this punch was thrown, even the space itself was bent a little. The invisible air formed a circular concave arc on the surface of his fist. A deafening rushing wind sound continued to resound over the place. A fierce glint also flashed across old ghost Jai Xing's eyes when he sensed that ferocious punch of Xiang Zhan behind him. He glanced at Xiao Yan a short distance away, after which he clenched his teeth. His body was twisted in a strange manner, but he actually did not turn around to fight. Xiang Zhan was also stunned when old ghost Jai Xing did not turn around. However, he could not be bothered with this. Since the you did not turn around, you will just receive my beating. Bang. The punch that was mixed with a fierce force finally tore through the air and violently landed on the shoulder on old ghost Jai Xing. A low and deep meat collision sound suddenly appeared. When Xiang Zhan's fist landed on old ghost Jai Xing's shoulder, some dense black fog immediately appeared. The black fog was just like cotton and reduced the force on the punch significantly. 
however, there was still some force penetrating through it and heavily collided onto On Xing's shoulders. Humph. This heavy attack directly caused a paleness to surge up old ghost Xing's face. A slight bone-cracking sound was also quietly emitted. Clearly, this punch by Xiang Zhan had directly broke a couple of his bones. A ferocious smile surfaced in old ghost Jai Xing's eyes, despite having forcefully received a punch from Xiang Zhan. By borrowing the push force from the latter's fist wind, his speed had suddenly soared. Within a flash, he had appeared above Xiao Yan's head. A ferocious and deep laughter was emitted from his throat. You fool. Zian's originally pale face no longer had even a trace of blood when she saw the scene. She stomped her foot and chided Xiang Zhan angrily. Xiang Zhan had a face containing a bitter smile when he saw that old ghost Jai Xing had went all out to endure a punch just so that he could kill Xiao Yan. Immediately, Xiang Zhan gritted his teeth and charged forward in a stifled manner. He wanted to send old ghost Jai Xing flying at this last moment. However, it was obviously too late for him to move now. The moment old ghost Jai Xing appeared above Xiao Yan's forehead, the seal formed by his hand changed abruptly. Black fog surged out in all directions. In an instant, it had formed a five feet large dark black ghost claw in front of him. The ghost claw had a dark and deep color that was terrifying. It was sinister, appearing just like the hand of a death god climbing out from hell. At a glance, it caused one to feel a chill over one's entire body. Nine imprisoning ghost hand. The expression of old ghost Jai Xing became increasingly ferocious after dark black ghost claw was formed. He cried out coldly towards Xiao Yan. Immediately, the ghost claw was swung downwards without mercy. It violently slammed towards Xiao Yan's chest. This attack by old ghost Jai Xing had basically used all the Du Qi within his body. That ghost claw might not be large, but space crumbled wherever it passed, revealing a dark black hole in the process. That ghost claw appeared even more sinister and frightening when mixing with this hollow space. Chi. The speed of the ghost claw was extremely swift. Within a flash, it had penetrated through the empty air and appeared in front of Xiao Yan. That dense wind, which was contained on the ghost claw, caused Xiao Yan to feel a kind of extremely dangerous aura. At this kind of extremely critical moment, there was no longer anyone who could rescue Xiao Yan in time. Xiao Yan also appeared to be aware of the current situation he was in. He looked at the savage face of old ghost Jai Xing, and a crazy expression suddenly surged into his dark black eyes. If you wish to kill me, you will also accompany me to death. When the crazy expression surged within his eyes, Xiao Yan ceased bothering about the energy within the Annihilation Fire Lotus that had yet to stabilize. His hand shook and the Fire Lotus left it. The Fire Lotus transformed into a fire glow that rushed towards old ghost Jai Xing, who was within close proximity. Bang! An earth-shaking loud sound suddenly resounded over the place when the Fire Lotus left Xiao Yan's hand. At this moment, annihilation-like strength swept out like a storm in the sky. The entire mountain range trembled like an earthquake at this moment. Numerous enormous crack lines spread in all directions with the valley at its center. That large hall also began to sway unsteadily under this trembling. Numerous experts from the Hall of Souls were so shocked that they covered their heads and fled like mice. The annihilation storm that suddenly arrived also stirred the attention of the Du Zuns from both parties in the sky. They glanced sideways and astonishment surfaced within their eyes. After which, they ceased pestering their opponents as they hurriedly withdrew. All of them were afraid of being implicated by the destructive force. Boom. The dark and dense ghost claw had finally rushed over the moment this destructive force spread. After which, it heavily slammed onto Xiao Yan's chest. That majestic dark and dense force suddenly erupted like a volcano. Grug. Xiao Yan's expression instantly paled upon suffering this lethal attack. A mouthful of blood fog was spat out. There was even a clear bone-breaking sound being transmitted from his chest. His body was also shaken by that terrifying force until it flew out like a cannonball. The corner of Xiao Yan's mouth revealed a dense arc the moment his body was sent flying. This was because he saw the face of old ghost Jai Xing, which was covered with horror at this moment. The annihilation fire lotus had exploded. Bang! The firestorm that was a thousand feet large instantly erupted. If one looked up from below, the storm appeared as though it connected the sky and earth, appearing just like a miracle. The firestorm was rampant as a destructive ripple spread like a wave. That incomparably firm large black hole within the valley had finally collapsed at this moment. Many experts from the Hall of Souls emitted a puff sound upon being struck by the ripple of destruction and turned into a cluster of dark black ash. 
the destructive ripple continued to spread for nearly a thousand meters. Everything was red within a thousand meter radius. The dense forest was also destroyed at this moment. The Duzuns from both parties in the distant sky watched the valley that had basically vanished within an instant. A shock surged into their eyes immediately. After which, they inhaled a deep breath of air. Such a terrifying destructive strength was something that even some of the Tianzin within the Hall of Souls had difficulty achieving. Boom! Xiao Yan's body, which was flying backwards, heavily shot onto a mountain wall. Large rocks rolled and buried him inside. Soon after, a lovely figure hurried over. She waved her hand and shattered the large rock. After which, she grabbed Xiao Yan from inside and swiftly rose into the sky, dodging the spreading destructive ripple. How is he? Xiang Zhan flashed and appeared beside Zi Yan. He hurried asked as he looked at Xiao Yan, who was covered with fresh blood. The latter's chest had even sunk inward. Zi Yan's face was so dark and solemn that it was frightening. This was the first time that she had seen Xiao Yan suffer such a serious injury. A full force attack by a five star Du Zun was something that no one present could receive. Even less needed to be said for Xiao Yan. Swoosh swoosh. The sound of rushing wind resounded over the sky. Feng Zunji, Little Fairy Doctor, and the rest hurriedly came over in a flash. Their expressions changed when they saw Xiao Yan was covered with fresh blood. Just as Little Fairy Doctor and the rest had a drastic change in expression because of Xiao Yan's injury, an intense spatial fluctuation was suddenly emitted from within the enormous firestorm. Immediately, two vast and mighty aura that was even more powerful than old ghost Jai Xing slowly appeared. The hearts of Feng Zunji's group immediately sunk when he sensed these two vast and mighty aura. This aura was that of someone from the Hall of Souls. The firestorm swept over the entire place, while those two majestic auras quickly became clear. A moment later, the firestorm suddenly paused. After which, a vast and mighty strength surged out from within the storm. It forcefully reversed the storm, shaking it until it slowly disappeared. Old Mugu sighed in relief within his heart when he saw the firestorm that gradually disappeared. If the firestorm was allowed to continue run rampant, it was likely that the other people from the Hall of Souls would really be completely buried under it. Following the slow disappearance of the firestorm, two elderly figures also slowly appeared in everyone's sight. That majestic aura had suddenly soared to the peak at this moment. An enormous pressure descended from the sky, causing the hearts of everyone present to feel tensed. In so many years, someone who dares to destroy my Hall of Soul. Xiao Yan, you are the first. An unfamiliar icy cold elder voice slowly resounded over the sky as these two figures appeared. End of chapter. Chapter 1227. Mysterious Person. The expressions of Feng Zunji and the rest changed slightly upon hearing the icy cold voice that resounded over the sky. Immediately, their eyes focused intently on the spot where the firestorm had disappeared. There, two, no, three figures had appeared within their line of sight. Two of the three who had appeared were unknown old men. They were dressed in black and white robes respectively. The clear color made it easy for others to identify them. At this moment, the expressions of these two were covered with a shady expression. A branch hull was destroyed. If one looked into the matter, it was likely that all the members of the Hall of Soul present would not be able to escape responsibility. After everyone's eyes swept over these two people, their gazes paused onto the figure who was between the two of them. In an instant, their expressions became a little interesting. The condition of that figure was currently not much better than Xiao Yan. He was similarly covered with fresh blood. The skin that was revealed outside of his robes had revealed a large amount of blood and flesh. His sleeves had already been completely blown off. Moreover, fresh blood continuously dripped from his sleeves. One of his arm had actually disappeared. Seeing this miserable manner of old ghost Jai Xing, regardless of whether it was Feng Zunji or old Mu Gu, all of them were completely stunned. Immediately, his heart violently inhaled a deep breath of cool air. Finally, numerous shocked eyes turned towards Xiao Yan, who was in Zi Yan's embrace. This fellow. He actually relied on his nine-star Du Zong's strength to turn an expert at the peak of a five-star Du Zun into such a miserable manner. Gulp. Old Mugu swallowed a mouthful of saliva while his face was covered with perspiration. Those eyes which he used to look at Xiao Yan had an additional fear and joy. He rejoiced that Xiao Yan did not use such a frightening fire lotus against him back then. His strength was far inferior to old ghost Jai Xin. If he was to suffer such a blow, he would definitely perish on the spot. Cough. Old ghost Jai Xin coughed intensely. 
mouthfuls of fresh blood was continuously being vomited. One could even see some internal organ fragments within the fresh blood. Clearly, old ghost Jai Xing had not only lost an arm this time around, but his internal injury was also unprecedentedly serious. It was normal for him to even die. Everyone looked at each other upon seeing this scene. Their hearts quietly sighed for this old man. Even if he could survive from such serious injuries, it was likely that some sequelae would remain. It was not impossible for him to have difficulty advancing his strength any further in the future. Kill. Kill that brat. I, I want to tear him into tens of thousands of pieces. Blood foam continued to seep out from the corner of old ghost Jai Xing's mouth. However, his eyes were still viciously staring at Xiao Yan. The hatred he felt towards the latter was monstrous at this moment. With his peak of the five-star Du Zun strength, he would actually end up suffering such a terrible loss in the hands of a nine-star Du Zong brat. How could he calm the fury within his heart? The two black and white robed old man by the side looked at this manner of old ghost Jai Xing. Although their expressions were still icy cold, there was an astonishment surfacing in their eyes. They were clearly aware of the strength of this old ghost. He might not be comparable to the two of them, but his strength was not far away. It was unexpected that he would actually end up with such a fate today. You old ghost. You really can only blame yourself for this. If you used the spatial jade to summon the both of us once you discovered them, how would you end up in such a fate? That black-robed old man's tone contained some fury. Currently, the branch hall has been destroyed. If the hall chief pursues the manor, you will suffer for it. Forget it, it is pointless for you to tell him this now. Don't you know what kind of character this old ghost has? Capturing Xiao Yan is considered a deed with great merit. Earlier, he thought that victory was assured and would naturally not call the both of us over to divide the credit. He he, I think that if it is not because he has been forced by the other party until such a manner, he would not use the spatial jade. The white-robed elder coldly laughed. Some fury also surged in the eyes of old ghost Jai Xing when he saw this feigned mockery from these two. However, he currently did not possess the ability to display even the slightest anger. The intense pain that was continuously transmitted from within his body clearly told him that the injury that he had suffered this time around had already reached a fatal extent. If he was not careful, it was likely that he might not even be able to keep this life of his. Greetings to Black White Tianzans. That old Mugu and the others also hurriedly flew over at this moment and respectfully greeted these two old men. All of you also have some responsibility for the destruction of the branch hall. White Tianzin glanced at the couple of them and spoke in a feigned voice. The expressions of old Mugu and the rest changed upon hearing this. However, they did not dare to say anything more. All they could do was to smile bitterly and admit it. Currently, the only way for all of you to use merit to make up for your mistake is to capture Xiao Yan. All of you should be aware of this point. Black Tianzin coldly said. Old Mugu and the others hurriedly nodded. From the looks of Xiao Yan's condition, he had clearly fought with old ghost Jai Xing until they were both seriously injured. He should no longer be able to use another of that terrifying fire lotus attack. White Tianzin patted old ghost Jai Xing gently. A gentle force entered the valley. There was still some members of the Hall of Souls who had managed to keep their little lives there. At this moment, they could only get them to look after this old fellow first. Don't delay any longer. Let's attack. Together. Black Tianzin spoke in a deep voice. Currently the strength on their size held the absolute advantage. He would naturally not give up this kind of advantage. Currently, the most important thing was to grab Xiao Yan first. Otherwise, once the Hull chief become furious, the people here would end up suffering. It is actually Black White Tianzin. Unexpectedly, even these two old demons have hurried over. Feng Zunji looked at the distant white and black old men. Their expressions were somewhat dark and solemn as he slowly spoke. Today. It is likely not easy to escape. The strength of these two old demons are a little stronger than old ghost Jai Xin. Adding the few remaining Du Zuns, this lineup surpass us. Tai Jian Zunji spoke in an indifferent manner. Although the current situation was dangerous, there was still not much of a change to his expression. It was as though he was not involved in his situation. Looks like we might have to go all out once. Zi Yan, bring Xiao Yan and leave. Little fairy doctor softly said. It was clearly already impossible for them to withdraw safely in this kind of situation. Someone must stay behind to delay these people. Little fairy doctor's voice had just sounded when her arm was suddenly grabbed. She turned her head, only to see that the one who had grabbed her was Xiao Yan, who was covered in fresh blood. 
she involuntarily felt a heartache upon seeing the latter's appearance. This was also the first time that she had saw Xiao Yan, who was usually laughing, appearing so miserable. Although his opponent was at the peak of the five-star Du Zun class. Do not leave some last words. It is not impossible to escape. Zian clenched her silver teeth. She appeared to have made some resolution as she spoke in a deep voice. All of you should quickly follow me in a while. Do not hesitate. Otherwise, even I will not have any solution. Zian did not give them any time for inquiries after her words sounded. She bit the tip of her tongue, and a drop of dark golden blood suddenly flew out. Finally, it landed on the tip of her finger. Zian's expression became deathly white when this drop of golden blood appeared. Even her body began to sway unsteadily. Zian forcefully stabilized her body. Her hand seal changed. Immediately, that delicate finger of hers, which had touched the dark golden blood, suddenly cut across the empty space in front of her. A spatial crack line slowly appeared. Zian's hand seal changed once again when this spatial crack line appeared. The crack line was slowly opened like a tightly shut room door. Following the appearance of this spatial door, some dense cold sweat appeared on Zian's clear forehead. You wish to leave? The activity of this area had immediately been discovered by the black-white Tianzans. Their expressions sunk as they let out a cold cry. They waved their sleeves and two mighty black fog pillar cut through space before rushing over towards Xiao Yan's group. Feng Zunji and the rest had a slight change in expression when they saw the black fog pillar rushing over in an explosive manner. He was about to act when Zi Yan spoke in a deep voice, there is no time to fight. Whoever fights will not be able to leave. Everyone's body paused upon hearing this. Their expressions were a little complicated. An instant later, little fairy doctor looked at the black fog pillar that was rapidly arriving. She clenched her silver teeth and was just about to rush out when she was being forced back by a palm. Taijian Zunji immediately stepped forward. His voice was indifferent as he said, all of you should leave. Yao Chen, you have done me a great favor back then. Today, I shall return it to you. Taijian Zunji laughed faintly. Before Feng Zunji could say anything, his body moved and rushed out explosively. The Du Qi within his body surged and forcefully received those two black fog pillars. However, that frightening force shook him until he directly spat out a mouthful of blood. With his two-star dues on strength, how could he be a match for the black-white Tianzin? Ha ha, I have taken my great revenge. All that I seek for is death. Being able to die in the hands of the hull of Sol Tianzin is really worthwhile. Taijian Zunji rubbed the trace of blood from the corner of his mouth. He laughed out loud towards the sky. Immediately, everyone was stunned to discover that the Du Qi within the former's body had suddenly become wild and violent at this moment. Be careful. This fellow is about to self-destruct. The faces of the black-white Tianzins changed slightly upon seeing this. They quietly cursed crazy within his heart. This fellow was really intending to seek death. While Taijian Zunji was blocking the Du Zuns from the Hall of Soul, the spatial door was finally slowly opened. Immediately, a rich silver light surged out from within and wrapped around Xiao Yan's group. The light had just wrapped around them when the spatial door suddenly trembled intensely. Ziyan's face also changed slightly. With her current strength, she had strained herself too much by forcefully attempting to open a spatial door and shuttle through the emptiness. Moreover, the most important issue was that she was bringing a group of people with her now. Just when the spatial door shook with greater intensity and a despair involuntarily rose within Zian's heart, the trembling spatial door suddenly began to strangely solidify. Light once again burst out. This time around, the light was actually unprecedentedly strong. The spatial fluctuation was also extremely stable. This. Zian was startled when she saw this kind of change. Immediately, she appeared to have understood something. A gratitude flashed across her eyes. Her hand seal suddenly changed, and the light from within the spatial door burst out. Soon after, a frightening suction force surged from it and forcefully dragged Xiao Yan's group into the spatial door. After everyone entered it, the spatial door shook and disappeared. Ugh. A helpless sigh finally sounded after Xiao Yan's group had successfully entered the spatial door. The dark black spatial crack line suddenly appeared behind Taijian Zunji, who was about to self-destruct, and swallowed him inside. This sudden unexpected change directly caused the black-white Tianzans to be stunned for a moment. A long while later, their eyes suddenly turned towards the location where Xiao Yan's group was at. However, the place was completely empty. Their expressions immediately turned green. End of chapter.
Chapter 1228. Serious Injury. This was an extremely vast and endless desolated plains. One could still see some green grass patches on the plains. However, most of it was a desolated bright yellow color. Occasionally, some eagles would fly in the sky above while being accompanied by a couple of sharp eagle cry. Desolation covered this entire plain. At a certain moment, the space of this place rippled. Immediately, a dark black hole was split open in this empty space. A couple of human figures exited from it in a somewhat miserable manner. After which, they landed on the ground. Zian, are you all right? Little fairy doctor hurriedly asked when she landed and saw Zian's pale white face. Zian shook her head. Purple light flashed on the body. Immediately, she began to slowly shrunk. Within the blink of an eye, she had turned back into the little girl from before. She panted a little before wiping off the cold sweat on her forehead and said, it's nothing. I will be fine after resting a little. You should take a look at Xiao Yan's condition first. Feng Zunji by the side held Xiao Yan's pulse the moment he appeared. His expression became increasingly ugly after a deep probe. Everyone's heart sunk when they saw this manner of his. While everyone were completely silent, the dark black ring on Xiao Yan's finger shook. Yao Lao's illusory body flashed and appeared. He grabbed Xiao Yan's pulse. A moment later, a murderous intent suddenly surged within his eyes. He coldly said, old ghost Jiaxin, what a vicious tactic. Old fellow. Feng Zunji felt a lament when he saw his old friend at this moment. However, now was not the time to catch up on old times. The most important thing now was Xiao Yan's injuries. Mr. Yao Lao, how is Xiao Yan's injury? Little fairy doctor's pretty face was a little pale as she softly asked. The veins in his body are all shattered, and 70% of his bones are broken. That palm of old ghost Jiaxing had contained all of his strength. Yao Lao's voice was low and deep as he spoke. That usual smiling face of his currently contained a ferociousness, no matter how one saw it. Hall of Soul. From today onwards, we will not rest until one of us die. Yao Chen's savage voice caused Feng Zunji by the side to sigh softly. It was the first time that he saw the calm and indifferent Yao Lao show such an emotion in so many years. Even when Han Feng had betrayed Yao Lao back then, the latter did not show such a surge in emotion. It seemed that the importance of Xiao Yan in his heart was quite great. Little fairy doctor's already pale face became even whiter when she heard Yao Chen's words. Her delicate body sway unsteadily. Zi Yan by the side hurriedly supported her upon seeing this. Such a serious injury. Tian Ho Zunji and Xiang Zhan exchanged looks with one another before sighing softly. Forcefully receiving a full force palm from an expert at the peak of the five-star Du Zun class. Forget about Xiao Yan, even the two of them would likely end up losing their lives on the spot. It was already not easy for Xiao Yan to still have a breath left at this moment. There should still be some method, right? Aren't you known for being able to save someone as long as that person still has a breath left? Feng Zunji hurriedly opened his mouth to speak after seeing that everyone had dark hazy faces. However, he smiled bitterly when he spoke. He had forgotten about Yao Lao's current condition. Not only did the latter not possess a body, but he had been turned quite weak by the Hall of Soul. How would he possess the kind of strength that he had when he was at his peak? Yao Lao's expression was gloomy. He sat beside Xiao Yan and looked at the latter's face, which was covered with fresh blood. The killing intent within his heart once again surged without control. It was the first time that he had such a rich desire to kill in his heart in these many years. He was aware that if it was not because Xiao Yan had come to rescue him, the latter would definitely not allow himself to fall into such a dangerous situation, given his shrewdness. Calm down first. Xiao Yan had rescued you after much difficulty. Aren't you delivering yourself to be captured if you head to the Hall of Soul now? How could Feng Zunji, who had been acquainted with Yao Lao for so many years, not know what the latter was thinking after seeing his expression? Immediately, he patted Yao Lao's shoulder and softly spoke. The most important thing now is not to seek revenge, but to rescue Xiao Yan. Yao Chen also inhaled a deep breath of air after hearing this. He was aware that Feng Zunji was right. At this moment, he must definitely not create trouble. You should think properly about what should be done. With your alchemist skills, you should have some solution. Feng Zunji said. Yao Lao inclined his head slightly. The ferocious expression on his face was withdrawn. His hand rubbed over Xiao Yan's pulse and carefully probed deeply into the condition within the latter's body. When he focused and probed deeply, the familiar Yao Zunji aura on his body also gradually seeped out. 
Back then, he had shook the entire continent. Who was not aware of the name Yao Zunji. Many super strong individuals wished to befriend him, but was unable to find a way to do so. Although he had currently fell into a low point, it was not difficult for him to recover to his peak with his ability. However, these were not the things that he currently needed to consider. If any accident was to occur to Xiao Yan, it was likely that Yao Lao's remaining life would be lived with a crazy vengeance. Seeing Yao Lao focusing his mind and engaging in a deep examination, the few people beside him also did not dare to make any noise and disturb him. Xiang Zhan and Tian Ho Zunji separated and guarded against any sudden and unexpected situations. A quiet and tense atmosphere lingered over this entire area. It was a long while later before Yao Chen, who had his eyes shut, suddenly opened them. He softly said, the situation is a little better than I had imagined. Little fairy doctor and the rest let out a soft sigh of relief upon hearing this. Currently, they were unable to endure even more blows. There is a way to save him? Feng Zunji also asked while feeling rejoice. The constitution of this little fellow is extremely strong. That palm from old ghost Jai Xin should have severed all of his life force. However, he had managed to forcefully endure through it. Moreover, there is the heavenly flame guarding his heart. Hence, it is not truly fatal. Yao Lao fondled his beard and slowly said. Moreover, the interior of his body currently has a heavenly flame, helping him repair his injured body. You mean? The 3000 burning flame? Little fairy doctor asked softly. Yes, the 3000 burning flame is known as the undying flame. Little fellow, who has swallowed and refined it, also possessed this kind of special characteristic. As long as the 3000 burning flame is not extinguished, it is possible for any injury in his body, regardless of how severe it was, to be healed. Yao Lao nodded and said. However, he is currently already unconscious. The recovery by the 3000 burning flame is automatically activated. This kind of heavenly flame need to absorb the strength of the stars. Hence, we must find a place where the strength of the stars is extremely great. Only then is it possible to increase the recovery rate. Strength of the stars? Feng Zunji was involuntarily startled when he heard this. He immediately laughed, let's go to the falling star pavilion then. You have forgotten that the place where the falling star pavilion was built at is originally a meteorite from space. Even after countless number of years, the strength of the stars within it is still gathered there without scattering. It is the most suitable place for Xiao Yan to recuperate. The joy flashed past Yao Lao's eyes when he heard these words. He had really nearly forgotten about that good place. With the help of that meteorite, this little fellow's life can be considered to be saved. Yao Lao softly laughed. Additionally, it is not that I wish to say words that will give others a blow, but even though Xiao Yan's life is saved, such a serious injury will definitely affect his training. If in the future, in the future he discovers that his strength has halted and is unable to advance with Xiao Yan's character, it is likely very difficult for him to accept it. Feng Zunji appeared to have thought of something. He hesitated for a moment before softly speaking with a bitter smile. The heart of little fairy doctor by the side, which had just been relaxed, immediately became tensed. She understood Xiao Yan very well. If the latter discovered that his strength would no longer be able to advance even an inch in the future, it was likely that he would feel worse than having been killed. Kiki, there is no need to be worried about this. Currently, Xiao Yan's body had already become so broken that it cannot be more so. This is an opportunity for him to break through his current shell and obtain a new self. You should come and sense the interior of his body. See if you can find something familiar. Yao Lao merely shook his head and laughed when he heard the concern. Feng Zunji was startled. He extended his hand as he was told and probed deep into Xiao Yan's body. A moment later, he did indeed sense an extremely familiar mysterious energy. His eyes were suddenly opened as he exclaimed in shock, this, this is the yin yang mysterious dragon pill? Yao Lao smiled and nodded. He sighed, fortunately, we have gotten one yin yang mysterious dragon pill from Han Feng back then. Otherwise, it will really be troublesome today. That's right, that's ring. Now, the yin yang mysterious dragon pill is most suitable for him. The injuries within his body is even more severe than those of mine back then. He would definitely be able to completely activate all of medicinal strength within the yin yang mysterious dragon pill. Feng Zunji was a little excited. He immediately laughed, it is indeed a great blessing. This time around, this little fellow might even get a blessing in disguise and break through to the Du Zun class. This will depend on his luck. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. 
his mood had also relaxed a little. With the presence of the 3000 burning flame and the yin yang mysterious dragon pill, it would be difficult for Xiao Yan to die this time around even if he wanted to. Little fairy doctor and Zi Yan by the sight also sighed in relief and appeared to have been relieved of a great burden after hearing the conversation of those two. Now, we should hurry back to the falling star pavilion. With the help of the meteorite strength there, Xiao Yan's injury will be healed a little faster. The tensed atmosphere of this place immediately relaxed after Xiao Yan's problem was resolved. Feng Zunji stood up. His eyes swept around him, mused for a moment and said, this should be the northern desolated plains that is tens of thousands of kilometers from the Death Soul mountain range. There is still some distance to the falling star pavilion. Therefore, we cannot delay any longer. Yes, the branch hall is destroyed, and the Hall of Soul will most likely not allow this matter to rest. The terrain of the Falling Star Pavilion is unique and it is well hidden. It is an extremely good hiding spot. Yao Chen nodded. Currently, they must allow Xiao Yan to recover as soon as possible. There will be opportunities to settle the scores with the Hall of Soul in the future. Naturally, no one had any objections to Yao Lao's words. That big fellow Xiang Zhan came over and carried Xiao Yan on his back. Being large and tough, he was the best person to be entrusted with this task. However, Little Fairy Doctor was worried about his rugged manner. Therefore, she continued to follow behind him. She was afraid that a bump might shake the currently extremely weak Xiao Yan until something happened. The entire group was all ready to get going after it had a target. After packing up briefly, they rose into the air and swiftly rushed towards the area where the Falling Star Pavilion was located. End of chapter. Chapter 1229 Falling Star Pavilion. The Falling Star Pavilion was situated at the southern region of the Central Plains. Amongst the so-called four pavilions, the Falling Star Pavilion had the least number of disciples. Of course, their numbers might not make it, but it was fortunate that the Falling Star Pavilion could pass in terms of quality. One must not underestimate a disciple from the Falling Star Pavilion, due to the latter's young age, should one end up meeting him. This was because the Falling Star Pavilion never recruit mediocre people. The Falling Star Pavilion did not only possess the least number of disciples amongst the four pavilions, but it was also the most mysterious one. The other three pavilions built their headquarters in an extremely grand manner, causing one to be able to sense the great strength of this sect from a glance. However, the Falling Star Pavilion was different. Unless it was someone who had a great understanding of the Falling Star Pavilion, otherwise, it was likely that one would have difficulty even finding the location of the sect. This caused the Falling Star Pavilion to possess an additional mysterious feel to it from other people's perspective. The Pill region was at a greatest distance from the Southern region. Even with the speed of Yao Lao's group, they had spent nearly half a month before truly entering the boundary of the Southern region. After which, they spent another seven to eight days before coming to a stop after reaching the exterior area of the Sky Star Mountain Range in the Southern region. The Falling Star Pavilion is located within the Sky Star Mountain Range. Ha ha, the place is a little unique. If one did not possess a special entry method, even an elite Du Zun would not be able to enter it. Feng Zunji also sighed in relief as he watched the familiar lush green mountain range. He turned his head and smilingly spoke to the weary little fairy doctors group. Sky Star Mountain Range. It has been many years that I haven't visited this place. Yao Lao looked at the continuous mountain range and sighed. The Falling Star Pavilion was established by the two of us back then. However, you end up being an absent leader. Everything was done by me. It had caused me to end in a terrible state back then. Feng Zunji shook his head and said. Ha ha. Yao Lao laughed. I do not like these things. Back then, I have established this falling star pavilion because I was a little interested. Feng Zunji could only shake his head helplessly when he heard this. After which, he turned around and waved towards everyone. Next, he rushed hurriedly towards the mountain range. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest followed closely behind. The group flew for over 10 minutes within this vast mountain range, before Feng Zunji at the front finally came to a slow halt. Little Fairy Doctor and the others behind were startled. Their eyes swept in all directions, but they only end up discovering that this place was still a lush green forest. Their surroundings did not possess any buildings, nor was there any mountains. It was completely just an ordinary sea of trees. Kiki, this is the Great Falling Star Formation of the Falling Star Pavilion. This great formation is not man-made. Instead, it is naturally formed. Feng Zunji smiled slightly. An old jade appeared in his hand. 
after which, he flew out and a tread of strange starlight spread out from within it. Light spread and the space in front actually became gradually distorted. Finally, it formed a large spatial door in front of the stunned gazes of Little Fairy Doctor's group. Let's go. Inside this place is the true headquarters of the Falling Star Pavilion. Feng Zunji smiled and took the lead to step into that large spatial door. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest behind hesitated for a moment before following him. After everyone entered, that large spatial door was finally turned invisible again. Little Fairy Doctor and the others sensed that the area in front of them became blurry for a moment after entering the large spatial door. The world in front of them appeared to have traveled through time as it suddenly changed. The originally endless sea of trees currently had a tall mountain appearing. There were some buildings that could be seen on the top of the mountain. One could even vaguely hear the cries from sparing. This is strictly speaking a realm that is created from the star strength of the meteorite. Kiki, of course, it cannot be compared with those large realms created by those elite Du Shengs. The size of this place is merely similar to that of a city. Feng Zunji laughed. However, due to this place being naturally formed, its ability to hide is extremely great. Even an elite Du Zun would have difficulty sensing the profoundness of this place should they fly past it. Little Fairy Doctor and the rest were also amazed when they heard this. Only Ziyan curled her little lips. She already knew that this place had some mysteriousness to it when she looked over from outside earlier. Of course, she was the only one in this group who possessed such an ability. Siege. Soon after everyone had appeared in this realm, over a dozen large white cranes suddenly flew over from the distant mountaintop. There were some human figures standing on those cranes. A green figure, who led them, rushed over. After which, the figure appeared in front of everyone. It was surprisingly Mu King Luan, whom Xiao Yan had met once. Teacher. Mu King Luan sighed in relief when she saw that the person who had come was Feng Zunji. She waved her hand and asked those white crane lingering in the midair to withdraw. Yes. Feng Zunji smilingly nodded. After which, he pointed towards Yao Lao beside him and said, Quick, come and greet the pavilion chief of our falling star pavilion. Mu King Luan was startled when she heard this. She glanced at Yao Lao and suddenly discovered that the latter looked exactly the same as the drawing of the founder within the sect. Immediately, she understood that Feng Zunji was not joking and hurriedly spoke in a respectful manner, King Luan greets. Hall Chief. Yao Lao helplessly shook his head and spoke in fashion, where he could neither laugh nor cry, you old fellow, you are purposefully trying to embarrass me. You are originally the Hall Chief of the Falling Star Pavilion, how could it embarrass you? Feng Zunji smiled. He turned his head towards Mu King Luan and said, with Yao Zunji here in the future, all of you people are going to be blessed. Yao Zunji? Mu King Luan's heart was quite shaken when she heard these words. Yao Lao's name back then was basically known by everyone within the Central Plains. She had occasionally heard Feng Zunji mention about him. However, she did not expect that she was actually able to meet him in person today. Forget it, don't listen to this old fellow talk nonsense. Let's settle Xiao Yan down first. Yao Lao waved his hand and said. Mu King Luan's eyes moved when she heard this and saw Xiao Yan on the back of Xiang Zhan. She was involuntarily shocked when she saw the latter covered in fresh blood with only a breath left. Although she could not be said to have an extremely good understanding of Xiao Yan, she also understood that this fellow was not an ordinary person. Who could turn such a shrewd fellow into this manner? Let's go. This little fellow engaged in a head-on clash with a five-star Du Zun. Although he broke one of the other party's arm, he had also been beaten until he is seriously injured. Feng Zunji sighed and explained. Buzz. The head of Mu King Luan by the side began to buzz when Feng Zunji's sigh fell. She stared at Xiao Yan in a stunned manner. This fellow actually dared to exchange blow with an elite Du Zun. Moreover, it was someone who had reached the level of a five-star Du Zun. This strength was something that even her teacher, Feng Zunji, had never reached. Moreover, the thing that really caused the corner of her mouth to twitch was that this fellow had actually even broken one of the other party's arm. Mu King Luan wiped off some cold sweat. A moment later, she finally recovered gradually. A bitter laughter appeared in his heart. Just what did this fellow do during this one year? Back then, just a northern pavilion chief of the Wind Lightning Pavilion had already managed to chase after him until he fled in all directions like a dog which had lost its home. Yet, within this short one year, his opponent had already directly leaped from the Du Zong class to the Du Zun class. Mu King Luan turned her body around while her head was still a little dazzled. 
she led the group to head up to the mountaintop. After which, she obeyed Feng Zunji's instruction and arranged for little fairy doctor and the others to settle down. After doing all these, she finally recovered from the shock that Feng Zunji's words brought. A strange thought suddenly rose within her heart. If that Feng Kinger was to meet Xiao Yan now, I wonder just what kind of interesting expression she will have. After settling the weary little fairy doctor's group down, Yao Lao and Feng Zunji carried Xiao Yan and directly rushed to the back mountain. A moment later, a dark black stone tower appeared in their sight. This stone tower was built in an extremely crude manner. It was described as a stone tower, but it looked more like an ugly black stone pillar. Although its exterior appearance was ugly, this rock pillar was the place with the strongest star strength within this area. This was because this was coincidentally the point where that meteorite from space gathered the star strength. Feng Zunji carried Xiao Yan and leaped onto the top of the stone tower. This top level was around 30 to 40 feet wide. There was a black stone tower within it. The top of the stone stage was only 5 feet wide. If one looked through the space, one would coincidentally be able to see that clear sky. This meteorite not only gathered star strength, but it was also able to absorb the star strength from space. This stone stage was the gathering spot for these two strength that were absorbed. Feng Zunji carefully placed Xiao Yan on the stone stage. At this moment, the latter had both of his eyes shut tightly. There was barely any breath left. Even the sound of his breathing was unusually weak. His entire person was no different from that of a dying person. Xiao Yan's body had just light on the stone stage when a wave of dense star strength permeated out from the stone platform. After which, it continued to gather into his body. Purple-brown flame curled and rose at this moment. It transformed into a circular fire barrier that covered the entire of Xiao Yan's body. Feng Zunji and Yao Lao rejoiced instead of being shocked when they saw the scene. At this moment, the 3000 burning flame was increasing dense. Xiao Yan's injuries would thus recover increasingly quickly. This falling star stage is indeed not bad. Yao Lao sighed in his heart and softly said. Kiki, there is no need to be worried. As long as there is sufficient star strength to support it, the 3000 burning flame will never be extinguished. Xiao Yan would also make a complete recovery from his injuries. Feng Zunji laughed. Yao Lao nodded gently. Let's go. Allow him to stay here alone quietly and recuperate. This recuperation period will likely be long. We can only wait. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. It did not matter how long or short it would take. As long as Xiao Yan was able to recover the injuries within his body, the length of time needed did not matter. Little fellow, take care. Teacher is still waiting for you to help me refine a body. Yao Lao smiled slightly as he watched the pain on Xiao Yan's face reduce a little when the flame rose. Only then did he wore a tired expression between his brows and quietly withdraw from this stone tower with Feng Zunji. This place became completely silent after these two people withdrew. Only that purple-brown flame burned fiercely in a tireless manner. Xiao Yan, who was within the flame, was just like a phoenix bath in a flame, waiting for the moment that he would be reborn. End of chapter. Chapter 1230. Time flies. The arrival of Yao Lao's group had undoubtedly caused the Falling Star Pavilion to become unusually lively. The disciples within the Falling Star Pavilion and even some elders were extremely curious about this pavilion chief that only existed in legend. The Falling Star Pavilion was basically developed by Feng Zunji alone during these years. Even though this was the case, Feng Zunji had also been leaving the spot of the pavilion chief empty. He did not have any intention of sitting on it. This was because he ultimately believed that Yao Lao would sooner or later return to the Falling Star Pavilion. This position was something that he had reserved for Yao Lao. This day had also ultimately arrived like he had anticipated. Hence, after settling the matter of Xiao Yan, he had gathered all the disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion the next day and announced the matter of returning the pavilion chief position. This kind of matter was undoubtedly extremely shocking to the Falling Star Pavilion. In the past, the Falling Star Pavilion had been treating Feng Zunji as the leader. Currently, their true leader was going to change. The disciples below were naturally not very used to it. Fortunately, this unaccustomed manner did not last for very long before it was broken by another excitement. Even these fledgling younger generation did not feel unfamiliar with the name Yao Zunji. Some of the older elders were even filled with wild joy within their hearts. They were extremely experienced and were clearly aware just what kind of position and reputation Yao Lao from back then had in the central plains. 
if one was to really discuss about his reputation and status, it was likely that even the three great heads from the Pill Tower would be slightly inferior. With such a person being the pavilion chief, why would the falling star be worried of not being strong? Yao Lao could only smile bitterly in the face of such a situation. However, he did not reject anything this time around. After having experienced the matters that had happened during these years, he also understood that unless one's strength was so great to the point that no one was able to resist one, there would ultimately be quite a big gap between a person and a faction. Back then, he was at a disadvantage in being too free and unfettered. Hence, he ended up being viciously attacked by the Hall of Soul after the latter found an opportunity. Since he possessed a chance to do everything again, he would naturally be unwilling to see this matter repeating itself. Additionally, Xiao Yan would definitely come to a true face-off with the Hall of Soul if he wished to rescue his father. At that time, Xiao Yan would require some faction supporting him from behind. This time around, Xiao Yan had risked death to rescue him. This had caused Yao Lao to place all of his thoughts on this disciple. Currently, he could be considered to be making some prior plans for Xiao Yan. Feng Zunji sighed in relief within his heart when he saw that Yao Lao did not find any excuse to reject the post this time around. He had always thought that the Falling Star Pavilion belonged to Yao Lao in his heart. During these years, he was merely helping the latter manage it. Now that Yao Lao had returned, he would naturally need to return it back. The relationship between him and Yao Lao could be considered to be friends who had undergone life and death together. Feng Zunji was able to search around bitterly for so many years because of Yao Lao. What did a mere pavilion chief position matter? Moreover, he was also extremely clear about Yao Lao's character. He did not specialize in management. At that time, he would still be the one to have a headache over these matters. After settling Xiao Yan down, Feng Zunji and Yao Lao decided to shut the mountain door first because they were afraid of the revenge by the Hall of Soul that could interrupt Xiao Yan's recuperation. With the protection of the Great Falling Star Formation, it was likely that the Hall of Soul would not be able to extend its limbs over. Everything would be discussed after Xiao Yan wakes up. No one objected to the matter of shutting the mountain entrance. Although this realm could not be compared with the Pill Realm, its size was also quite large. There would not be much of a problem staying here for years. Moreover, the energy in this place was dense. The effect of one's training would be many times better than the outside world. Little Fairy Doctor's group naturally chose to remain behind with the mountain entrance shut. Xiao Yan had yet to awaken. How could she leave first? There was similarly no objections to Little Fairy Doctor's group remaining behind. The strength of these people could be considered top level even in the Central Plains. If they could remain in the Falling Star Pavilion, they would undoubtedly greatly strengthen the defense of this place. After the mountain entrance was shut, time also began to quietly flow by amidst this beautiful greenery. Two months passed within the blink of an eye. Everything was extremely quiet during these two mouths. The expected Hall of Soul Revenge did not occur. During this period of time, Feng Zunji had also dispatched people to investigate. The Central Plains was still as lively as before. However, there was no news of any big activity from the Hall of Soul. Not even a little news of the Branch Hall being destroyed was released. Clearly, the Hall of Soul has locked the news. Yao Lao and Feng Zunji were surprised at this situation. Given the character of the Hall of Soul, it was impossible for them to endure for so long without taking action. It seemed that there should be something restraining the limbs of the Hall of Soul, causing them to only be able to temporarily place this matter aside. However, the Hall of Soul not seeking any trouble also allowed Yao Lao and Feng Zunji to sigh in relief. The current Falling Star Pavilion was no match for the Hall of Soul. If they were to begin a war now, the Falling Star Pavilion would end up suffering a serious blow. It would also not be impossible for the Falling Star Pavilion to be unable to recover from it. The Hall of Soul had given them an opportunity to recuperate. Naturally, Yao Lao and the rest did not waste the time. After having recovered some life force, he began to continuously find some of the methods to cause the strength of the Falling Star Pavilion to be strengthened. Time flowed by. Within the blink of an eye, another month had passed. Xiao Yan, who was within the stone tower, still did not show any trace of awakening. However, the originally pale and bloodless face of Xiao Yan had currently gradually become sleek red. His breathing also became normal. He was no longer like a person that was about to die like in the past. All of these indicated that the injuries within Xiao Yan's body was currently gradually recovering. His awakening was only a matter of time. 
During this one month, Little Fairy Doctors Group also took a position of elders within the Falling Star Pavilion, after Feng Zunji invited them with great effort. Although they were only guest elders, they were at the very least being pulled to the side of the Falling Star Pavilion. Little Fairy Doctor was non-committal towards Feng Zunji attempt to draw her oath. Yao Lao was Xiao Yan's teacher. Currently, the former was also the chief of the Falling Star Pavilion. In the future, Xiao Yan might also end up being the pavilion chief of this falling star pavilion. In that case, it did not matter for her to become a nominal elder. Tianhao Zunji also agreed to Feng Zunji's invitation after hesitating for a period of time. In any case, there was currently nowhere for him to go. It was also good for him to find a place to settle down. Zi Yan was playful in nature. Her agreement with Feng Zunji was completely based on her whim. Moreover, with her joining, that Xiang Zhan could only nod his head with her coercing him. Feng Zunji and the elders of the Falling Star Pavilion smiled happily in the face of this powerful group joining them. Three Du Zun class experts joining them together. This wait was quite a great one. Justice alone would likely cause the Falling Star Pavilion to leap and truly become the top of the four pavilions. However, all of them forgotten that should Yao Lao completely recover his peak strength in the future, just his ability to gather people alone would likely cause the Falling Star Pavilion to become quite a strong faction within the entire Central Plains. There was no need to even discuss about the four pavilions. Time flowed like water. Spring passed and autumn arrived. A greenish-yellow color was added onto the lush green mountain forest. Half a year's time flowed by without one realizing it. However, Xiao Yan had still yet to wake. Although everyone could sense that the condition within his body was becoming increasingly good, he still did not show any signs of awakening. Even Yao Lao felt somewhat helpless in the face of this scene. The only one who could be relied on regarding this matter was Xiao Yan himself. During this period of time, the back mountain had been labeled as the forbidden ground of the Falling Star Pavilion. Other than Feng Zunji's group, even the Falling Star Pavilion's elders were forbidden from entering. This situation naturally attracted the curiosity of all the Falling Star Pavilion disciples. However, after much inquiry, they were only aware that there was a young man called Xiao Yan in the Stone Tower, who recuperating while undertaking a retreat. Duki Continent Northwestern Region, Jiama Empire, Jiama Sacred City. Any citizen of the Jiama Empire were aware that the true ruler of this empire was no longer the Jiama Imperial family. Instead, it was an alliance. This alliance was called the Yan Alliance. Yan, the Yan from Xiao Yan. Every person within the GMA Empire were aware that the founder of this absolute overlord within the current GMA Empire was a person called Xiao Yan. He had personally ended a misty cloud sect era within the GMA Empire and began another Yan Alliance era. In the hearts of all the younger generation within the GMA Empire, this name represented a kind of honor and hard work. This was because everyone were clearly aware that the person who had created this miracle was called a trash back then. There was a grand and towering large hall in the middle of the Jiama sacred city. The large hall was extremely tall. Its top overlooked the entire city. This place was currently the place with the greatest authority within the Jiama empire. At this moment, the top of this heavily guarded large hall was a lady wearing a brilliant robe. She stood with her hands behind her. The figure of this lady was extremely bewitching. Even with the somewhat loose robe, it was still difficult to hide her demon-like curves that would cause one to be attracted. A faint moonlight scattered down from the sky, shining on her beautiful face that would cause one to involuntarily cease breathing. The first impression that this beautiful appearance gave one was a kind of demonic-like bewitching feeling. Her red lips were curled slightly. This arc enchanted everyone. However, there was a kind of pressure from a person of great authority between those narrow brows. An enchanting and majestic feeling coexisted. This caused that charm of hers to instantly reach the peak. At this moment, this lady, who possessed an bewitching appearance that could enchant everyone was frowning slightly. She raised her head and looked at the bright moon. A skinny figure lingered continuously in her eyes. It has likely been five to six years. Xiao Yan, you have promised this queen that you will return. If you eat your words, I will tear your corpse into tens of thousands of pieces even if you die. The bewitching lady clenched her hand slightly. A complicated expression flashed over those pretty eyes that were filled with allure. Mother. An unusually tender voice that carried the tone of a baby suddenly sounded from behind this alluring lady while she was softly muttering to herself. The icy cold expression on the face of this bewitching lady immediately disappeared upon hearing this voice. 
a kind of beautiful smile that even Xiao Yan had never seen before surfaced. After which, she swiftly turned around and looked in the direction that the voice had arrived from. The place where the voice originated from was a flight of stone stairs. At this moment, there was a two-year-old or so child on her bare little legs. The thing that caused one to feel surprise was that this little child was suspended half an inch from the ground without borrowing any support. Standing in empty air. This was something that only an elite Du Zong could achieve. That jade carving-like face of the little girl made her appear like an exquisite porcelain doll. It caused only to like her so much to the point of being unable to let her go. The pair of dark black intelligent eyes appeared exceptionally sly under the moonlight. When the lady looked over, the clothes of the little child wiggled and a seven-colored small snake came out from under her clothes. After which, it laid on the white tender small arm of the child. It hissed and extended its snake's tongue. From this appearance of it, it was surprisingly exactly the same as the seven-colored heaven-swallowing python from back then. End of chapter. Chapter 1231. Advancement, Du Zun. A black stone tower stood on the top of a mountain in a lonely manner. Wild grass grew on surroundings of the stone tower. These grass represented the change of time. The top of the stone tower was still that same scene that had not changed for a millennium. A young man sat on the stone platform with his eyes tightly shut. A kind of purple-brown flame lingered around his body. The flame burned fiercely, and it actually vaguely emitted a kind of great life force. Little fairy doctor's eyes were startled as she looked at the young man in the flame from the side of the stone platform. It was a long while later before she sighed in a quiet manner. It has been a year. Have you not awoken? Little fairy doctor softly muttered to herself. An entire year had passed ever since Xiao Yan was shifted over to this place back then. The falling star pavilion had suddenly strengthened rapidly during this one year. However, Xiao Yan, whom Little Fairy Doctor was most concerned about, did not wake from his unconscious recuperating state. Initially, Yao Lao and the rest merely thought that it was because Xiao Yan's injuries was too serious. However, this kind of thinking was finally abandoned after Xiao Yan remained unconscious for over half a year. This was because they could sense that the injuries within Xiao Yan's body had currently completely recovered. The situation within his body was even better than his previous peak. Even Yao Lao was unable to understand why Xiao Yan continued to remain unconscious, despite having been fully healed. Although their hearts were anxious in the face of such a situation, they were unable to do anything about it. Fortunately, none of them were reckless people. Hence, no one had the impulse of forcefully pulling Xiao Yan from his unconscious state. One year quietly flew by like the sand between one's fingers, while everyone waited helplessly. Ugh. Little fairy doctor looked at the human figure, who had appeared to have turned into a stone, within the stone tower. An expression of grief flashed across her eyes. She gently shook her head and softly said, even if it is for Shunar and the child in Kai Lin's womb, you must not continue to sleep like this. These words did not obtain any immediate effect. Little fairy doctor could only sigh in disappointment. She was just about to turn around when her lovely body suddenly stiffened. At that instant earlier, she had clearly saw Xiao Yan's finger shook a little. This kind of shaking might be extremely slight, but little fairy doctor would definitely not be mistaken, given her eyesight. Quite a number of falling star pavilion's disciples were current gathered at a training ground near the back mountain for their daily training. A green figure was standing with her hands behind her back at the middle. Her face was somewhat stern and beautiful. The current Mu King Luan had some awe to her when compared to the past. Mu King Luan's pretty eyes took one look around. She only nodded slightly when she saw that no one was not putting in effort. Immediately, her eyes turned towards the back mountain. She was clearly able to see the black stone tower there. Mu King Luan was a little absent-minded as her eyes looked at the stone tower. One year ago, Xiao Yan had exchanged blows with the five-star Du Zun and had broken an arm of the other party. This battle result still caused her to feel some shock even when she recalled about it now. However, the price of such a shocking battle result was also quite great. It had even reached a height that an ordinary person was unable to accept. The back mountain had already been shut for a year. Big Senior, do you know when it will open again? Mu King Luan recovered when she heard the soft voice that appeared behind her. She turned her head around and took a look. It was actually a couple of young disciples who possessed quite a great reputation within the Falling Star Pavilion. She smiled immediately, shook her head and replied, it is likely that even teacher is unaware of this matter. I heard that a senior called Xiao Yan is training in the stone tower. It is rumored that he is the direct disciple of the pavilion chief. 
the female disciple asked in a somewhat curious soft voice. However, this training period is a little too long. It has been a year, but we have never here even the slightest activity within the stone tower. Could it be? A person spoke hesitatingly. All right, let's not discuss about such matters. Mu King Luan knitted her brows slightly and said. Everyone hurriedly ceased their discussions after seeing Mu King Luan frowning. It appeared that the latter possessed quite a high prestige and authority within this falling star pavilion. Recently, quite a number of elders has left because of some matters. All of you should not take this opportunity to be lazy. If you fail to pass the year-end test, you will suffer for it. Mu King Luan reprimanded. He he, big senior sister, you can be rest assured. Additionally, I recently heard that there seems to be some ancient remains appearing in the 10,000 Great Mountains at the southern region's borders of the Central Plains. Could it be that the elders has left because of this matter? A young man, who appeared quite intelligent, curiously inquired. Aye, it is a little related. This ancient remains is not an ordinary one. Those factions with some ability in the Central Plains intend to encroach onto it. However, the 10,000 Great Mountains is within the Beast region. That is the territory of the magical beast tribes. Those old shrewd fellows will definitely be unhappy to share this ancient remains with others. Therefore, quite a number of battles will occur when the time comes. Mu King Luan spoke without hiding anything, since they were all core disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion. Ancient remains. He <laughs> he, it is rumored that a Tian class do skill has even surfaced. Whoever could obtain it, tis tisk. Tian class? I have never seen a do skill of this level in all my life. Don't daydream. Such a treasure will be a hot potato in the hands of anyone. If one does not possess some ability, one will not only be unable to keep the treasure, but will end up attracting trouble. Mu King Luan rolled her eyes and said. Everyone laughed when they heard these words of Mu King Luan. After chatting idly for a while, all of them were preparing to sit down and train when the entire mountain suddenly trembled. The footsteps of quite a number of people staggered a little, and they nearly fell. Why? What had happened? This sudden trembling immediately stirred quite a great commotion. All the falling star pavilion's disciples, who were training, hurriedly got up. In an instant, the great chaos and private conversations continued to spread. Mu King Luan was also shocked for a moment because of this unexpected change. She immediately cried in a deep voice, all of you be quiet. There is the pavilion chief and the various elders guarding this place. What can happen? The chaos finally gradually calmed down after hearing Mu King Luan's cry. Everyone faced each other and felt that those words were logical. Currently, the Falling Star Pavilion had many experts. Even if this mountain was about to collapse, they would be able to directly reconnect it. Bang! While everyone gradually calmed down, the mountaintop suddenly shook again. This time around, everyone who had calmed down immediately discovered the source of the ripple. Hence, numerous gazes were suddenly turned towards the stone tower at the back mountain. It is a ripple that was emitted from that place. Mu King Luan looked at the stone tower at the back mountain. Her heart involuntarily leaped. This was the first activity that the stone tower had emitted during this one year. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. The trembling also attracted the attention of the many experts within the Falling Star Pavilion. Immediately, numerous figures rushed out from various spots. Finally, they were suspended in the midair. Their eyes were shocked and uncertain as they looked towards the back mountain. They could vaguely sense an extremely terrifying aura. It was just like that of a huge slumbering dragon slowly awakening. Chi. Two elderly figures also swiftly surfaced in the midair. Their eyes looked at the commotion of the stone tower on the back mountain. Immediately, a wild joy that could not be hidden flashed across their eyes after they sensed a frightening aura. The Sara. It's Xiao Yan. This fellow has finally awakened, huh? While the entire falling star pavilion had turned into an uproar because of the activity, an unusual change also gradually appeared within the stone tower. Little fairy doctor's eyes were filled with joy and surprise as she looked at the stone platform in front of her from within the stone tower. At this moment, a vast and mighty star strength was continuously seeping out from Xiao Yan's body, which was on the stone platform, in a torrent-like manner. She could sense a family aura slowly awakening while these star strength spread. Is he finally going to wake up? An excited and joyful expression surfaced on Little Fairy Doctor's face when she sensed this activity. It had been a year. Finally, there was some activity. While Little Fairy Doctor was filled with a wild joy, the purple brown flame that covered Xiao Yan's body suddenly swelled at this moment. It spread over the entire stone tower. 
Seeing this scene, little fairy doctor hesitated for a moment before she moved and rushed out from the stone tower. The strength of the 3000 Lotus Heart Flame was extremely strong. Even she was unable to endure for too long. While little fairy doctor was withdrawing from the stone tower, the purple-brown flame that permeated the stone tower suddenly erupted like a volcano. It burst out from the top of the tower. After which, they agglomerated from all directions. Finally, they formed a thousand feet large purple-brown dragon. The large dragon meandered and forcefully occupied the place. Its enormous body covered the entire stone tower. A rich dragon's might spread, causing the legs of quite a number of people to weaken. Roar! The enormous dragon was formed. It suddenly roared towards the sky. The sound of the dragon roar spread in a vast and mighty manner. Immediately, everyone saw that the sky became distorted. A starlight pillar that was nearly a thousand feet large gathered from the night sky in the outside world. After which, it penetrated through the spatial barrier and heavily landed on the body of the meandering large dragon. This vast and mighty star strength completely landed on the body of the enormous dragon. It caused the latter's large body to suddenly emit a wave of bright intense light. Soon after, a vast and mighty aura spread out like floodwaters. Light shot in all directions, causing the eyes of quite a number of people to be shut. A moment later, they finally opened their eyes. After which, they saw a skinny figure slowly appearing at the head of the meandering large dragon. A vast and mighty aura seeped out from within the body of this person. This aura. It's. Du Zun. Mu King Luan's expression instantly became stunned as she sensed the strength of this vast and mighty aura. A moment later, she inhaled a deep breath of air. Her voice trembled a little as she muttered. End of chapter. Chapter 1232. Awakening. The enormous dragon lingered over the sky. Its vast and mighty dragon might spread over this entire place. Under this intense dragon pressure, even the expressions of some falling star pavilion elders changed slightly. The figures that were suspended in the sky could not help but descend significantly. Is this the senior training within the stone tower? What terrifying strength! This kind of aura. None of the elders within the pavilion could compare with him. This aura should have reached the Duzun class. Hiss! How unbelievable! This senior is around the same age as us. Yet, he has unexpectedly reached this stage. Waves after waves of private conversations sounded on the mountain, after sensing the vast and mighty aura that permeated over the sky. One could still hear a shocked note in these voices. Clearly, it was the first time that they had met such a young elite Du Zun. These people were in possession of quite a great talent in order to become the disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion. Their bones possessed some pride. However, such pride appeared to be worthless in front of this senior named Xiao Yan. This fellow. He's really a little too frightening. He had actually directly broke through to the Du Zun class. The shock on Mu King Luan's face continued for a moment before she gradually recovered her calmness. A bitter laughter was emitted. Her heart was also quite complicated. When she had first met Xiao Yan, the latter's level was a little lower than hers. However, within a short two to three years, the latter adopted a terrifying soaring pace and directly advanced to the Du Zun class. This caused her to feel some doubt about her training talent for the first time. How could she be considered a genius in the face of such an abnormal existence? It is indeed Xiao Yan. Feng Zunji and Yao Lao stood in the empty air in the sky. Their eyes were fiery hot as they looked at the human figure on the head of the enormous dragon. The former involuntarily cried out joyfully as he did so. Yao Lao smiled and nodded. An excitement also flashed through his eyes. One year. This little fellow had finally awakened. Moreover, it seemed that his awakening this time around had brought him quite a great benefit. Kiki, little fellow is indeed quite blessed. Not only has he truly activated the medicinal strength of the yin-yang mysterious dragon pill, but he had even taken the opportunity to break through to the Duzong class. If I guess correctly, he should have accumulated energy during this year and prepared to break through in one attempt. Feng Zunji laughed. Yes. The amount of energy needed to break through to the Duzong class is too great. If it is not because he had the help of the space meteorite, it is likely that this fellow's breakthrough will be delayed by at least two years. Yao Lao smiled. His face contained a pleased expression. Xiao Yan was usually good at grasping opportunities. Currently, he did not give up this great opportunity, choosing to be silent for a year to do so. Finally, at this very moment, he had completely erupted in a shocking manner. While everyone were sighing in surprise within their hearts, 
the meandering large dragon in the sky continued to remain for over 10 minutes before gradually disappearing. With the scattering of the large dragon, the dragon's might that permeated the place also swiftly weakened. With the complete disappearance of the enormous dragon, that figure in the sky also gradually become clear. At the end, it finally completely appeared in front of everyone's sight. The young human figure in the sky stretched his lazy waist. The skin on his body immediately wiggled at this moment. Those bones in his body emitted numerous bone cracking and rubbing sound, which appeared just like the starting of a complicated mechanical equipment. Huh. While Xiaoyan sensed a comfortable feeling that spread within his body, a breath of somewhat hot air followed his throat before being spat out from his mouth. Is this the strength of an elite Du Zun? Xiaoyan clenched his hand slightly. He sensed a vast ocean-like Du Qi within his body and involuntarily became absent-minded. This kind of strength possessed an allure that could cause one to become crazy, countless number of people had spent all their life trying to obtain such strength. Xiaoyan stretched his hand before suddenly clenching it. The space in front of him was actually suddenly distorted into a strange depression. If this clenching occurred on a person's body, even an expert Du Zong's body would end up crumbling into a pile of blood and flesh. A smile slowly surfaced on Xiaoyan's face as he sensed this vast and mighty strength that could distort space by just raising one's hand. This stage was so distant and unreachable when he looked at it back then. Now, however, he had truly reached it. If the current Xiaoyan was to meet old ghost Zhai Xing again, he might not dare to say that he could kill the latter without unleashing the Annihilation Lotus Flame, but with his strength, that old ghost Zhai Xing would not be able to do anything to him. This was the gap between a Du Zun and a Du Zong. When Xiaoyan was at the nine-star Du Zong, he only had the choice to flee when meeting an expert like old ghost Jai Xin. Even if he unleashed the Annihilation Lotus Flame, he would at the very most be able to fight until the both of them were seriously injured. However, once he broke through the Du Zong class and entered the level of a Du Zun, everything would undergo a drastic change. The current Xiaoyan might not be able to defeat old ghost Jai Xin in an ordinary battle. Similarly, however, he would no longer need much effort to escape from the hands of old ghost Jai Xing. Old ghost Jai Xing. This debt, there will be a time when you have to repay. Xiaoyan's dark black eyes, which had been quiet for a long time, had a faint chillness flashing over it. He must not easily let this old ghost off, even if he ended up benefiting from this disaster of being seriously injured. Chi. A rushing wind sound was swiftly transmitted over, while a desire to kill surged within Xiaoyan's heart. Immediately, a couple of figures flashed and appeared beside Xiao Yan. You are finally willing to wake up. Feng Zunji patted heavily on Xiao Yan's shoulders. During this one year's time, they had been miserably tortured because of Xiao Yan. Ha ha, thank you old Feng. Xiao Yan smiled and respectfully cupped his hands together towards Feng Zunji. You should thank your teacher. He has likely not have many good sleeps during this one year. Feng Zunji waved his hand and said. Xiao Yan's eyes turned towards the smiling Yao Lao by the side when he heard this. He looked at the familiar smile that he had not seen for many years, and something surged in his heart. For an instant, he was actually unaware of just what he ought to say. Don't listen to this fellow's nonsense. It's good that you have awakened. It's good that you have awakened. Even with Yao Lao's calmness, his heart involuntarily became emotional as he spoke when he watched a face that appeared much more matured compared to back then. Xiao Yan's eyes were a little red as he looked at the laughing Yao Lao. All of his ability were taught by Yao Lao with great effort. If it was not because of Yao Lao, Xiao Yan at the very most become just an expert within the GMA empire, even if his training talent did not disappear. This continent had never lacked any geniuses. It did not matter if he was included or not. It was because of the experience in his youth that had honed Xiao Yan's character. Hence, Yao Lao was an important part that could not be missing for him to be able to possess his achievements today. However, despite Yao Lao putting in a great amount of effort to groom him, he could only merely watch Yao Lao being captured by the Hall of Soul back then, without being able to do anything. This kind of helpless feeling was the most torturing form of torture. All right, little fellow, there is no need to think about the matters of the past. The speed of your growth has exceeded my expectations. Looks like the Hall of Souls act of capturing me had ended up helping you. Yao Lao softly patted Xiao Yan and laughed. Xiao Yan also smiled when he heard this. Although these words were somewhat of a joke, there was indeed some truth to it. Ever since Yao Lao was captured by the Hall of Soul, the motivation for Xiao Yan to train had become incomparably strong. 
It was also because of this kind of training motivation that enabled Xiaoyan's strength to soar within a short couple of years. Teacher, I have currently already swallowed three types of heavenly flames and already possessed sufficient ability to help you refine a body. Xiaoyan swiftly settled down the emotions within his heart. He glanced at Yao Lao's somewhat illusory body before speaking anxiously. Yao Lao's heart was filled with a warm and pleased feeling when he saw the anxious desire on Xiao Yan's face. The heavens had caused him to be blind once. Fortunately, she did not allow him to be blind a second time. The matter of refining a body is not urgent. Although Yao Chen's life was not in danger when he fell into the hands of the Hall of Soul this time around, he had lost quite a lot of essence spiritual key. Before refining a body, we must first replenish the lost essence spiritual key. Otherwise, even if he obtained a physical body, his strength will not advance. Feng Zunji by the side shook his head and said upon hearing this. Essence spiritual key? Xiao Yan was startled. There is another term for the essence spiritual key. It is also called essence spiritual strength. The Hall of Soul had captured those spirits because they wished to remove these essence spiritual key from their bodies. This kind of spiritual key is the life of a soul. Once the spiritual key is lost, it would end up causing a great harm to the soul. Feng Zunji explained. Xiao Yan's expression immediately sunk upon hearing this. He recalled those chains that lingered over all the souls. This thing was actually used to absorb the spiritual key. How can we replenish the spiritual key? Xiao Yan asked. Currently, everything was already prepared. He must fulfill Yao Lao's only wish at all cost. The spiritual key is the foundation of a soul. It is extremely difficult to be altered by external force. Feng Zunji mused for a moment and replied. However, there are two unique things in this world that possess the mysterious effect of repairing spiritual key. Which two? Xiao Yan swiftly inquired. The soul baby fruit and the spiritual dragon heavenly fungus. Feng Zunji slowly replied. As long as we can obtain one of these two, we will be able to replenish the spiritual key that Yao Chen had lost. Unfortunately, the rarity of these two types of mysterious items are superior in every way when compared to the heavenly flames. I have only read about them on some ancient books. During this one year that you have been unconscious, I have already dispatched the experts from the Falling Star Pavilion to search for information on these two types of mysterious things. However, Feng Zunji shook his head and sighed softly when he spoke until this point. Xiao Yan's heart involuntarily sunk upon hearing this. It was unexpected that some unexpected incident had occurred now that they were already fully prepared. This damn hall of soul. Xiao Yan gritted his teeth. If Yao Lao was unable to replenish the spiritual key, would that not mean that he will always be unable to possess a body? Is there really no other solutions? Xiao Yan spoke somewhat unwillingly. Feng Zunji was silent. Xiao Yan's fist was involuntarily clenched tightly when he saw this matter of Feng Zunji. While the few of them were quiet, an elder at the side hesitated for a moment before suddenly speaking softly. Pavilion Chief Feng, the soul baby fruit, one of the two mysterious items that you have mentioned. It is rumored that it is in the ancient remains that had caused an uproar recently. End of chapter. Chapter 1233? Ancient Remains? Ancient Remains? Xiao Yan was initially startled when he heard this. Immediately, his eyes turned abruptly towards the elder who had spoken and hurriedly said, Is there news of the soul baby fruit? Where did you obtain this news from? Feng Zunji was also a little stunned as he looked at that elder. From the looks of this manner of his, it seemed that he was unaware of this matter. That elder smiled and explained, Pavilion Chief Feng, I have been responsible for the matter regarding the ancient remains recently. Based on the information that had been sent back, there are some magical beast tribes that had attempted to barge into the ancient remains, but end up miserably pulling back. However, from what those who had fled said, that remains possess a kind of mysterious thing that is extremely similar to the appearance of the soul baby fruit. I guess that thing should likely be the soul baby fruit. The soul baby fruit is indeed something from the ancient times. It is not too surprising for it to appear in the ancient remains. Feng Zunji was a little excited. He rubbed his hands together and said, Xiao Yan, you are really a lucky star. We have no result despite searching for a year. Yet, such a good news has been delivered to us the moment you have come out. Don't be happy too early. Yao Lao was not as optimistic as Feng Zunji. He voiced his thoughts, currently, this ancient remains has attracted quite a number of experts and factions from the continent. Moreover, that place is within the beast region. It is not an easy matter to take out such a treasure from within it. 
Back then, the last ancient remains had ended up being flooded with blood. No one knew just how many Du Zongs or Du Zun's experts had died there. Feng Zunji's expression became a little solemn when he heard this. He had experienced the ancient remains battle back then and naturally knew just how intense and cruel that kind of battle was. Just what is the matter regarding this ancient remains? Xiao Yan saw the two people frowning in deep thought and could not resist asking. Let's get down before we talk about it. Quite a number of things had occurred in the central plains during this one year that you were unconscious. Feng Zunji's eyes looked around him. After which, he exchanged glances with Yao Lao. He beckoned his hands towards Xiao Yan, and the group rushed down from the tall sky in front of the countless number of eyes, before entering the large hall of the Falling Star Pavilion. The group separated and took their seats after having entered the large hall. Xiao Yan smiled towards Little Fairy Doctor, who had closely followed behind him. After which, his eyes turned towards Feng Zunji. The latter also smiled upon seeing this. After sipping some fragrant tea, he arranged his thoughts before slowly speaking, the ancient remains, as the name suggests, is naturally the things that had been passed down from the ancient times. Those that could still leave some remains after so many years meant that the owner of the remains was not an ordinary person. From how the remains that had appeared in the breast region looks complete, its owner might be a Dushen class peak expert. A seriousness flashed across Xiao Yan's eyes when he heard this. Du Sheng, this was basically an existence that was near the peak of this world. Now that they had broken through to the Du Zun, he could increasingly sense how terrifying this level was. The things left behind by an expert Du Sheng undoubtedly possessed an allure that could not be resisted. The ancient times is a completely different era from now. There would naturally be many remains left behind during the countless number of years. Some remains might have been buried or disappeared in time. However, there would also be some which would suddenly be revealed like the ancient remains that is discovered this time around. Each time the ancient remains appears, it would bring about a bloody storm. You should be aware of just how attractive the things that are left behind by an elite Du Sheng are. It is sufficient to cause one to become crazy over it. Feng Zunji smiled and said, the flame mantra that you practice is something that Yao Chen and I had underwent a bloody battle back then, in order to successfully bring out from the remains that had appeared back then. Xiao Yan quietly nodded. He had heard Yao Lao mention that the process of obtaining the flame mantra was quite difficult. The ancient remains this time around is likely even more troublesome than the last one that we had participated in. This is because it had appeared within the beast region. That is the territory of the magical beast tribes. Beast region. Xiao Yan knitted his brows slightly. He had heard a little of this area. That place was completely the territories of the magical beast tribes. Although there were also humans roaming around there, those magical beasts that had formed a tribe usually possessed extremely xenophobic thoughts. This time around, the ancient remains had appeared on their territory. Given their characters, they would definitely be unhappy for the human experts to come and take a share. It is indeed quite troublesome. Xiao Yan gently nodded. Those magical beast tribes were extremely troublesome to deal with. It was to the point of causing many experts to feel a headache. Ugh, we have dispatched the experts from the Falling Star Pavilion to pay more attention the moment the ancient remains appear. Originally, we did not intend to get involved in this messy business. For us, who had experienced a competition from the last remains, we clearly understand just how cruel it will be. If the Falling Star Pavilion ends up getting involved in it, it will definitely bring about quite a great trouble. Feng Zunji sighed and said. The current Falling Star Pavilion has basically already been included in the Hall of Souls blacklist. We must always be cautious of time. If we end up suffering a serious blow now, they will definitely beat us when we are down and eliminate us in passing. Now, Yao Chen has yet to recover his strength. Therefore, he is unable to leave. Without the help of this kind of expert, we will be unable to get entangled with the Hall of Soul. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. The Falling Star Pavilion might be one of the four great pavilions in name, but there was still too much of a gap between it and the Hall of Soul, an old faction that had existed for an extremely long time. However, they had found the soul baby fruit within that ancient remains. In this way, they had no choice but to get involved in this messy business. Feng Zunji changed his tone and spoke in a deep voice. The soul baby fruit was exceptionally important. It was related to whether Yao Chen would be able to regain his peak strength. If they were really able to obtain it, the strength of the Falling Star Pavilion will undoubtedly soar immediately. At that time, with someone like Yao Chen present, even the Hall of Soul will not dare to easily do any random action. 
Therefore, regardless of how great of a risk it was, they must do their best to help Yao Chen recover to his peak. Currently, the Falling Star Pavilion is enemies with the Hall of Seoul. This place is the headquarters of the Falling Star Pavilion, and it must have experts present. Therefore Old Feng is unable to make this trip to the ancient remains. Xiao Yan's finger gently knocked onto the surface of the table and said, as for teacher, this place possessed the Great Falling Star Formation. It will be very safe for you to remain here. Hence, as a precaution, you can only remain here. After counting in this manner, this ancient remains can only be left to me. I will try must best to bring the soul baby fruit back. Moreover, I am also quite interested in this ancient remains. Xiao Yan laughed softly. It's too dangerous. You do not understand just how cruel the fight within this kind of ancient remains is. You still need to rescue your father. Nothing must go wrong with you. Yao Lao shook his head slowly and said. Teacher. Even if the current me ends up meeting an expert of the strength of old ghost Jiaxing, I will also be able to withdraw safely. Relax, I am aware of my limits. Xiao Yan smiled. He did not wait for Yao Lao to continue speaking before turning his eyes towards Feng Zunji and said, Old Feng, please help me prepare a detailed map of the beast region. Leave the matter of the soul baby fruit to me. Feng Zunji glanced at Yao Lao, who was frowning tightly by the side. He immediately nodded gently and said, although I am also very worried, you are indeed currently the best person for this. In order to allow Yao Chen to swiftly recover his peak strength, we can only trouble you this time around. I will settle the map for you as soon as possible. Additionally, bring King Luan with you when you leave. Her clan is also within the beast region. They might be able to provide a little help when the time comes. Xiao Yan smilingly nodded. He did not reject this good intention of Feng Zunji. Yao Lao widened his mouth when he saw these two people swiftly making a decision. Immediately, he could only sigh helplessly. He looked at Xiao Yan and softly said, since you insist, teacher shall also not try to advise you against it. You should be careful along the way. If you end up meeting with any dangerous situation, you should withdraw immediately. Remember, in my heart, recovering my strength is not as important as you. It is not easy to find a disciple like you. Xiao Yan rubbed his head and laughingly nodded. After subsequently confirming their route, Xiao Yan did not hurriedly set off. This matter was related to whether Yao Lao could completely recover his strength. Hence, nothing must go wrong with it. Therefore, the various intelligence must be complete. As the saying went, if one sharpen one's axe, one would need less effort which chopping wood. If the information was complete, everything would be done extremely smoothly. During these few days, Xiao Yan was also given a Falling Star Pavilion Elder title. Currently, Yao Lao was the pavilion chief of the Falling Star Pavilion. Being his disciple, Xiao Yan could naturally also be considered a member of the Falling Star Pavilion. Some commotion was also stirred in the Falling Star Pavilion in the face of such a young elder. However, no one voiced any objections. The earth-shaking atmosphere that Xiao Yan had emitted when he broke out from the tower had already allowed everyone to understand that his strength. It was more than sufficient for him to seat on this elder's spot equals, after this rest continued for three days or so, the information related to the ancient remains had also been fully gathered by Xiao Yan. He was aware that it was time to begin traveling to the beast region. When the sun surfaced in the sky on the morning of the third day, the disciples from the Falling Star Pavilion undergoing morning training turned their eyes towards the sky. There were a couple of figures standing in the air there, a breeze blew over the place and the clothes of these people fluttered, causing them to appear to possess an extraordinary demeanor. Xiao Yan, you should remember to be more careful on this trip. Quickly withdraw if you meet with any trouble. Feng Zunji looked at the group that was ready to leave and spoke in a deep voice. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His eyes turned towards Yao Chen beside Feng Zunji and inhaled a deep breath. After which, he cupped his hands towards Yao Chen and said, Teacher, take care. This disciple will definitely bring back the soul baby fruit for your elderly self. After uttering these words, Xiao Yan ceased hesitating any longer. He waved his hand and suddenly turned around. After which, his body moved and swiftly rushed towards the exit. In the blink of an eye, the entire group had disappeared from everyone's eyes. Old fellow. You have found quite a good disciple. Feng Zunji slowly commented as he looked in the direction that Xiao Yan had disappeared towards. Yao Lao nodded gently before laughing out loud. There is no regret in my life by being able to obtain this disciple. My choice back then was ultimately a correct gamble. End of chapter. Chapter 1234
beast region. The azure sky was clear within thousands of kilometers. The sky appeared to be just an enormous blue mirror that was incomparably clear. Ow! A crane cry was suddenly transmitted from the quiet sky. Immediately, a white figure rushed over from the distant sky. It was accompanied by a wild wind that whistled past the sky. Only when one was close could one see that the white figure was a snow-white giant crane. A couple of figures were seated on its spacious back. It was surprisingly Xiao Yan's group, which had left the Falling Star Pavilion. This trip to the Beast region would definitely not be a smooth one. There were too many experts being attracted by the ancient remains. It was not an easy matter if one wished to obtain the things one needed in this place. Hence, Xiao Yan had brought little fairy doctor, Ziyan, Tianhou Zunji and Xiong Zhan with him on this trip. This lineup, along with Xiao Yan's current strength, was already very strong. Although it was unable to move unhindered within the beast region, it was not one that anyone would dare to come and defend. Ugh, what fun is there in the beast region? Why are we going there? Ziyan had some complaints over the destination of this trip. She continued to mutter in this manner all the way. However, Xiao Yan merely smiled in the face of this. He was aware that Zi Yan had most likely head to the so-called beast region during this period where she was missing. That was the place where most magical beast tribe in the Duki continent gathered. Although the ancient void dragon was extremely mysterious, it was likely that there would be some similar bloodline linking all of them, which possess some bloodline connection. Therefore, Zi Yan would follow this feeling of hers and head to the beast region. Little fairy doctor also smiled slightly when she heard Zi Yan's muttering. Xiao Yan had successfully awakened, and his injuries had completely healed. This caused her to become completely relaxed. Her usually tensed face had also become much more relaxed. Ugh, stop muttering. Xiao Yan smiled and shook his head. He tossed a small jade bottle towards Zi Yan. The latter received that and took a look. Only then did some joy appear at the tip of her brows. She poured the yao in inside into her mouth, as though they were beans before chewing for a long while. Only then did she laugh, that place is not as nice to muddle in as the central plains. Since the ancient remains has currently appeared in the beast region, you will need to make the preparations for a bloody battle, if you intend to obtain anything from it. King Luan, tell us about the faction distribution within the beast region. It will allow us to be prepared beforehand and become aware of just who we can offend and who we should not. Xiao Yan ignored Zi Yan. He turned his eyes towards Mu King Luan, who was seated by the side, and smilingly asked. Mu King Luan raised his eyes upon hearing this. Her eyes still contained a complicated expression as she looked at Xiao Yan. Who could have imagined that this fellow would actually directly break through to the Du Zun class after experiencing a serious injury? This level was one that she had dreamed of. The Beast region has gathered nearly 70% of the Magical Beast clan. That place is the world of the Magical Beast. It includes the three great tribes of the Magical Beast world, the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe, the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python, and the Ancient Void Dragon. Mu King Luan stared at Xiao Yan when she mentioned the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe. She softly said, you should be a little more careful. The Heaven Phoenix tribe is extremely sensitive to the Heaven Phoenix essence blood. You are able to hide from Feng King Er back then because she was not strong. However, if you meet the experts from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe in the Beast region, it will be very difficult to hide it. The Heaven Demon Phoenix is one of the three great tribes in the magical beast world. There are many experts within the tribe and it is extremely frightening. Even though you have currently already advanced to the Du Zun class, you can only pull back in the face of such a frightening faction. Therefore, it is best that you think of a way to get rid of the Heaven Demon Phoenix essence on your before you enter the beast region. Mu King Luan spoke seriously. Xiao Yan fondled his chin. There was no need to talk about the terrifying strength of the Heaven Demon Phoenix, given that it was able to become one of the three great tribes of the magical beast world. If there was no special circumstances, Xiao Yan did not wish to be enemies with them. Qi, the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe is nothing. Xiao Yan, you need not be afraid. With me around, I will let them all be unable to return if they dare to come. Upon hearing this, Zi Yan, who was chewing happily by the side, immediately curled her lips, patted her small chest and said. Mu King Luan was stunned as she glanced at Zi Yan. She was not certain about the latter's status. However, from the manner in which Feng Zunji and the rest treated her, it seemed that the background of this little girl was strong. However, regardless of how strong her background was, these words were a little boastful.
By being able to become one of the three great tribes of the magical beast world, there were hardly any person or faction who would dare utter such words to the heaven demon phoenix tribe. Mu King Luan did not think that this little girl in front of her possessed such an ability. Xiao Yan glanced at Ziyan and involuntarily shook her head. Although this girl was an ancient void dragon, she was still too young. She might be quite strong, but it was far from the point of being able to frighten the heaven demon phoenix tribe with just her name. Relax, I will think of a solution regarding the demon phoenix blood. Xiao Yan turned his eyes towards King Luan and smilingly said. It is good that you have the confidence. You should be aware of the seriousness of this manner. Offending the heaven demon phoenix in the beast region is equivalent to offending a faction like the pill tower in the central plains. It will be extremely troublesome. Mu King Luan nodded and softly said, the subsidiary relationship in the beast region is extremely strong. A powerful tribe will possess many subsidiary tribes. These subsidiary tribes view the main tribe as the leader. There are many implications in these relationship. If one wish to discuss about it, it is even more complicated than the main sect and branch sect in the human world. The tribe that I come from is the green mythical bird tribe. Although we cannot be compared to the heaven demon phoenix, we also possess some reputation within the beast region. There are nearly 10 subsidiary tribes under my tribe. The combination of the experts from these tribes will be quite strong. There was some surprise in Xiao Yan's eyes. The uniqueness of this region had created a unique style. Although the human world also possessed this kind of subsidiary relationship, it was far from having developed into such an intertwined manner. A human heart was at times far more complicated than that of a beast. The one with the most subsidiary tribes within the beast region is the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe. Their numbers is the largest amongst the three great tribes. Of course, the result of gaining in numbers was that the bloodline of the current Nine Serene Deep Ground Python is becoming increasingly impure. Mu King Luan spread her hands and said, the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe has an extremely harsh management of its bloodline. Even the dead Heaven Demon Phoenix must be buried within the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe forbidden ground. Any outsider who obtained the corpse or other parts of the Heaven Demon Phoenix only have two choices. One was to take the initiative to hand it over while the second was to be chased after by them with killing intent. Mu King Luan looked at Xiao Yan with a deeper meaning in her eyes when she spoke until this point. It appeared as though she was issuing him a reminder. As for the most mysterious ancient void dragon. I have not heard about them having any subsidiary tribes. Of course, this should likely be because they are not interested. Otherwise, there will be quite a number of powerful tribes willingly joining them. A faint respectful expression flashed across Mu King Luan's face when mentioning the ancient void dragon. The ancient void dragon was different from the heaven demon phoenix tribe or the nine serene deep ground python, which had climbed up slowly. It originated from the ancient times and was worthy of being the ultimate being of all beasts. Since the ancient times, they had always been the top existence within the magical beast world. Ziyan widened her mouth and poured the final yao in into her mouth. She chewed a couple of times before patting her little stomach in a satisfied manner. She casually said, the heaven demon phoenix is not as strong as you have described. There are similarly some beasts that keeps an extremely low profile within the magical beast world. Moreover, all of them possess a bloodline from the ancient times. These tribes might not possess a large number, but they are also quite powerful. If their own ancestor was still around, they might still possess the qualification to say such words. Unfortunately. The true ancient heaven phoenix has already ceased to exist in this world. Moreover, it is not that the ancient void dragon does not have any subsidiary tribes, but it is just that you are unaware of them. Mu King Luan widened her mouth slightly upon hearing these words of Ziyan. The Ancient Heaven Phoenix. This name that originated from the ancient times was something that she had occasionally read about in the old books within the tribe. It is rumored that this Heaven Phoenix was a peak existence that could be compared with the strongest magical beast, the Ancient Void Dragon, during the ancient times. However, she did not expect that this secret name from the ancient times would actually be spoken from the mouth of this little girl. My green mythical bird tribe is also a tribe that possess some reputation. If the ancient void dragon possess some subsidiary tribes, how could I not know about such an important matter? Although she vaguely thought that Ziyan might be right, Mu King Luan was still a little unwilling to be taught a lesson by a little girl. Hence, he immediately retorted. Green mythical bird tribe? Ziyan raised her thin brows. Her eyes were a little strange as she looked at Mu King Luan. After which, she let out a laughter and actually ceased to continue speaking. You. 
Mu King Luan felt a little furious when she saw this manner of Ziyan. Xiao Yan by the side hurriedly stopped her. The appearance of the ancient remains this time around is located at the Beast Bone Mountain Range in the Beast region. That place can be considered the territory of the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python. It is rumored that there is the existence of a Tian class do skill there. It is likely that the experts from the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python will also intervene. At that time, the fight will definitely be extremely intense. All of you should try to be careful. We should swiftly leave once we have obtained the soul baby fruit. Mu King Luan gently inhaled a breath of air. She gritted her teeth and looked at the unconcerned face of Ziyan before speaking with some fury. After which, she directly sat down and shut her eyes. Clearly, she was greatly angered by Ziyan. Xiao Yan could only spread his hands helplessly in the face of this scene. After which, he glared ruthlessly at Ziyan. Yet, the latter directly ignored him. She stretched her lazy waist before using Xiong Zhan beside her as a backrest and swiftly fell into a deep sleep. Due to the aggressive atmosphere between Mu King Luan and Zi Yan, the remaining journey became quite oppressive. Fortunately, this kind of depressing feeling continued for around four days before it was broken by the vast mountain range that appeared at the edge of one site. That place was the Beast Region. A unique area where the magical beast tribes ruled. End of chapter. Chapter 1235 bone mountain range. The size of the beast region might not be comparable to the central plains, but it was not something that could be slight. That stacking mountain range that extended endlessly was sufficient to allow one to feel the different wild atmosphere of this beast region. Although the beast region is known for its hundred thousand large mountains, this was merely a rough estimate. If one was to really count them, it would definitely far exceed this number. These mountains spread into the distance where a human strength could not reach. Following the flow of time, countless of treasures had also been left behind in this endless mountain range, waiting for someone with the affinity to open them. The ancient remains had appeared in the Bone Mountain range of the Beast region this time around. It was quite renowned within the Beast region. This was because this mountain range possessed a sea of bones that caused one to be stunned. Countless number of beast bones were thrown in this place. These beast bones would gradually unleash some of the unique beast strength within them, following the flow of time. This kind of energy was of not much use to a human, but it was not a bad nourishment for a magical beast. Hence, it had resulted in this Bone Mountain Range to become a spot where many magical beasts liked to gather. The Bone Mountain Range was located at the southwestern part of the beast region. Due to them being afraid that the soul baby fruit would be obtained by others' frist, Xiao Yan's group had hurried towards the Bone Mountain Range without stopping once they entered the beast region. The current beast region had undoubtedly become lively because of the appearance of the ancient remains. During Xiao Yan's group journey towards the Bone Mountain range, they saw quite a number of experts, who obviously had the same destination as them. Amongst these experts were magical beasts that could take the human form, as well as some human experts who had hurried over from outside the beast region after hearing the news. Clearly, word of the ancient remains appearing had already spread. Xiao Yan involuntarily frowned upon seeing this scene. It was unexpected that the allure of the ancient remains would actually be this great. These lone experts were still all right. The only thing Xiao Yan was worried about was some large factions coming as a group. Things would be a little troublesome if that was the case. It is rumored that there is the existence of a Tian class do technique in this ancient remains. It is likely that those large factions will be after that thing even if they come. Our target is only the soul baby fruit. If things are not right when the time comes, we will take the soul baby fruit and leave. It is not good to step onto this muddy water. Xiao Yan's face had an expression of deep thought, while he looked at the mountain range that swiftly moved backwards from under him. This did not mean that he was uninterested in the Tian class do technique. Honestly speaking, even he had never seen just what a Tian class do technique looked like until now. It was a li if he said he was not curious. However, he understood the importance of various matters. Currently, the most important thing was to help Yao Lao recover his peak strength. Otherwise, the gap between the Falling Star Pavilion and the Hall of Soul would be a little too big. If the Hall of Soul managed to completely grasp them and attack, the Falling Star Pavilion would be finished. Of course, if the situation did not exceed his expectations after having obtained the Soul Baby Fruit, Xiao Yan could quietly think of doing something else. Tian Class Do Technique this do technique that existed in the legends would likely possess a strength that was comparable to Xiao Yan's Annihilation Fire Lotus. 
After traveling for two continuous days in the continuous mountain range of the enormous beast region, a glaring dense white color suddenly appeared in the distance. This wisp of dense white color appeared out of place within the lush green mountain range. However, an excitement surged into the eyes of Xiao Yan's group when they saw it. After nearly 10 days of traveling, they had finally reached their destination. The number of people flying across the surrounding sky increased when they arrived at this place. Occasionally, there would be a figure flying across like a storm. Finally, it would rush towards the distant dense white mountain range. We are arriving at the Bone Mountain Range. There are two elders from the Falling Star Pavilion investigating here. We should meet up with them first and discuss the subsequent matters. What do you say? Mu King Luan's expression had become much more solemn as she looked at the dense white mountain range in the distant. Even at such a great distance, she could still sense quite a number of unusually strong aura. Yes. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. Currently, this Bone Mountain Range was truly a chaotic place. Experts from various factions were gathered at this place. If they were to charge in without being aware of the situation, they might end up becoming the target of everyone. Mu King Luan took out an old jade from her storage ring after seeing Xiao Yan nodding. After which, she gently shattered it. Soon after the old jade was shattered, a figure swiftly rushed over from the distant mountain range. After which, it headed towards Xiao Yan's group. A moment later, it had appeared above the large eagle. The figure clearly sighed in relief when he saw Xiao Yan's group. The one who had arrived was an old man in gray robes. He wore an elder badge of the Falling Star Pavilion on his chest. However, this old man appeared a little miserable looking at this moment. It was as though he had just exchanged blows with someone. Elder Ha, what happened? Where is Elder Ki? Mu King Luan asked in a startled manner when she saw the appearance of this old man. Ugh. The old man who was called Elder Ha laughed bitterly and immediately spoke with some anger, Elder Ki, and I have come to the Bone Mountain Range to investigate its situation on the orders of the two pavilion chiefs. Currently, quite a number of powerful factions and experts had come to this Bone Mountain Range. Everyone has found a spot to settle down within this mountain range and wait for the ancient remains to completely open. Elder Keys and my luck are not bad. We found a mountaintop that is near the ancient remains. That place could observe the activity of the remains in the quickest possible time. However, the two of us has just led some Falling Star Pavilion's disciples to build a camp there when we met the people from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Wind Lightning Pavilion? Xiao Yan raised his brows slightly. It was indeed an old enemy. They actually dared to attack? Mu King Luan's face sunk slightly. Some fury rose within her eyes. The current Wind Lightning Pavilion is becoming increasingly arrogant by relying on its good terms with the Heaven Phoenix tribe. Ugh, there is no choice. This time around, even Lei Zunji from the Wind Lightning Pavilion has personally come. The two of us has yet to even reason it out with him when we were directly thrust aside. In his fury, Elder Key also ended up being injured by the experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Currently, some disciples are taking care of him and he is unable to move. Therefore, only I can come and receive you. Elder Ha sighed. Although he spoke in this manner, his face had some dissatisfaction. Clearly, the overbearing manner of the Wind Lightning Pavilion had caused him to be quite furious. Mu King Luan frowned tightly. Suddenly, she turned her head and looked at Xiao Yan. She softly said, teacher has said that you will be in charge of everything in this trip. Elder Hu's eyes turned towards Xiao Yan upon hearing these words of Mu King Luan. He cupped his hands together respectfully and said, you must be the personal disciple of the pavilion chief, junior chief Xiao Yan, right? Kiki, the old Mi Hu Fu, greets junior chief. Elder Hu Fu is too courteous. Just call me Xiao Yan. I am unworthy of the title junior chief. Xiao Yan smiled and waved his hand. He glanced at Mu King Luan, who was staring intently at him from behind. After thinking for a moment, he said, let's go and see Elder Ki first. Kiki, I will lead the way. Elder Ha nodded, turned around and led the way. Hey, Xiao Yan, what should we do about this? The Wind Lightning Pavilion has completely not give the Falling Star Pavilion any face. If we do not do anything, it is likely that we will end up being a joke of others. Mu King Luan softly said as she looked at Elder Ha, who was leading them in front. Xiao Yan smiled faintly, but did not say anything. However, upon seeing this smile of his, Mu King Luan felt a little calm in her heart. Ever since she had become acquainted with Xiao Yan, she had never seen Xiao Yan suffer any loss. Even when he ended up suffering a serious injury and end up unconscious for a year, Xiao Yan had also got a five-star Du Zun, 
to pay an arm as a price. Everyone followed Elder Hut to shuttle through the vast mountain range. Currently, this mountain range had already been occupied by a densely packed sea of people. It was noisy all day long, causing this originally quiet mountain range to become just like a marketplace. Various confusing noise surged over from all directions. This sea of people did not lack some powerful aura that caused even Xiaoyan to glance sideways. It seemed that the ancient remains this time around had indeed attracted quite a number of true experts. The group had shuttled through the mountain range for quite a while before finally coming to a stop at a remote small hill. At this moment, there were 20 overfalling star pavilion disciples guarding this hill. However, they currently appeared quite depressed and furious. Clearly, this was caused by the wind lightning pavilion chasing them out from their camp without giving them any face. The return of Elder Wu caused everyone's attention to be braced. When they saw Mu King Luan's group, all of their morale was finally lifted a little. Quite a number of eyes paused on Xiao Yan. They had long since heard of this personal disciple of the pavilion chief, who had undertaken a retreat in the stone tower for a year. Cough, Jun, a somewhat pale-looking red-clothed elder walked out from the tent with the support of two falling star pavilion's disciples, after Xiao Yan's group had landed. He cupped his hands together towards Xiao Yan's group and spoke respectfully. Cough. This elder Qi could not resist coughing intensely after his voice had just sounded. Some traces of blood appeared on the corner of his mouth. Clearly, his internal organs were injured. Damn it, those bastards from the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Our main force of the Falling Star Pavilion did not come. Otherwise, they will not have any opportunity to be arrogant. The fury within the hearts of those surrounding Falling Star Pavilion's disciples rose when they saw this injury of Elder Qi. Xiao Yan slowly walked towards Elder Qi's side. He grabbed the latter's hand and briefly examined his injuries. After which, he nodded slightly and said, your injuries are quite serious. Who has attacked you? The Northern Pavilion Chief of the Wind Lightning Pavilion, Fate Yan. Elder Qi sighed. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. He immediately laughed softly. He had not met this Northern Pavilion Chief late Yan for two to three years, yet the latter was still as overbearing as ever. Xiao Yan took out a medicinal pill from his storage ring and handed it to Elder Qi. He stretched his lazy waist and said, how many Duzuns does the Wind Lightning Pavilion have? Just Lei Zunji alone. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. After which, he slowly turned around in front of everyone's eyes. Junior Chief, you are? Elder Hu was startled upon seeing this. He hurriedly asked. Let's go. It's time to destroy their place. The faint voice that was being transmitted over caused the blood within the bodies of those falling star pavilion's disciples present to boil instantly. End of chapter. Chapter 1236. Finding Trouble. The main aim of their trip this time around was the sole baby fruit. If there was no special circumstances, Xiao Yan also did not wish to create problems that could complicate the matter. However, there are some things that was impossible to avoid even if one wished to do so. Following the increasingly good relationship between the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe and the current Wind Lightning Pavilion, the latter had become increasingly arrogant. It had vaguely really think of itself as the big boss of the four pavilions. This time around, they had forcefully snatched the campsite that the Falling Star Pavilion had found beforehand. This was undoubtedly giving the Falling Star Pavilion a slap. If the Falling Star Pavilion chose to ignore this manner, it would definitely end up being a joke of others. It was necessary to endure and give and occasionally when establishing a sect. However, one must not be weak when it came to things related to principles. Otherwise, it would not only be a great blow to one's reputation, but it would also cause the morale of the disciples within the sect to decline. Currently, Yao Lao was already the pavilion chief of the Falling Star Pavilion. Although Xiao Yan felt a little helpless at the title of junior chief that it inexplicably fell onto him, he naturally needed to be responsible now that the title had fallen onto him. This time around, Yao Lao and Feng Zunji had given him the authority to lead the group on this trip. This was a kind of trust and test for him. If they were facing the Hall of Soul, a great being that was far stronger than the Falling Star Pavilion, they might only be able to endure for now and wait for the opportunity to take revenge in the future. However, in Xiao Yan's heart, the Wind Lightning Pavilion did not possess the qualification that could cause him to withdraw. When he had just arrived at the Central Plains back then, he had dared to challenge the Wind Lightning Pavilion with just the strength of a Du Huang. Even less needed to be said now. The strength of a mere Lei Zunji was not even a match for Feng Zunji. 
forget about there being two people with the strength of a three-star Du Zuns beside Xiao Yan. Even if he was to act personally, this Lei Zun Ji would not be in a position to gain any advantage. This action by Xiao Yan had undoubtedly immediately won the support of all the young disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion, who were present. By being able to become the disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion, they were clearly not some useless people. Yet, they had suffered such humiliation in the hands of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Based on the impulsive character of these young people, it was likely that they would forcefully charge forward, even though they knew that they were no match for their opponents. They would let everyone know that their falling star pavilion was not some softy. If it was not because of the stern scolding by the two elders today, it was likely that they would have long since exchanged blows with the wind lightning pavilion. Originally, they thought that there was nowhere for them to vent this anger. Unexpectedly, this junior chief, whom they felt a little unfamiliar with in their hearts, was this fiery hot the moment he appeared. In an instant, the position of Xiao Yan in the hearts of these young disciples had directly rose. At times, gaining the support of others was such a simple task. The two elders were startled in the face of this action by Xiao Yan. They hesitated for a moment and saw the bright red faces of the young disciples around them. That hidden demonic flame within their hearts also rose at this moment. Damn it. The Wind Lightning Pavilion had gave the Falling Star Pavilion a slap in front of so many experts. If they did not get back at them, it was likely that they would really lose all of these old faces of theirs. Although they were uncertain about the strength of Xiao Yan, they clearly understood the strength of Little Fairy Doctor, Tianhou Zunji and Xiang Zhan behind. These three were genuine elite Du Zuns. What was just a mere Lei Zunji worth? We will listen to Junior Chief's orders. The two elders cupped their hands together in a grave manner. After which, they waved their hands and took the lead to fly out. A large group of falling star pavilion disciples followed closely behind. That rising murderous aura-like manner attracted quite a number of surprised gazes. There were quite a number of mountain peaks standing near the middle area of the Bone Mountain Range. Due to this place being close to the ancient remains that it appeared, these better locations were mostly occupied by some of the stronger factions. Some of those experts and small factions could only choose to find other places. The interior of the Bone Mountain Range was currently filled with human figures. Loud noises and curses continued to linger beside one's ears. Due to there being too many people and that this place was not managed by anyone, it had resulted in the Bone Mountain Range to be completely chaotic. It was extremely common for those present would summon their friends over some small matter and end up engaging in a big fight. There was one mountain amongst those near the middle area that was currently occupied by many figures. A large flag was dancing in the wind at the peak of the mountain. Wind Lightning Pavilion, three shiny silver large words, were present on it. Looking from a distance, the flag appeared quite domineering. One after another, snow-white tents stood on the top of the mountain. There were vaguely some long-drawn breaths being emitted from within the tents. Clearly, they belonged to some stronger experts. From the looks of it, the Wind Lightning Pavilion had activated quite a great amount of strength for this ancient remains. There was an exceptionally grand large tent located at the middle of the many tents. Quite a number of Wind Lightning Pavilion's experts were standing with cold stern cautious expressions outside of it. Some laughing voices were occasionally emitted from within the tent. Clamor. The cover at the entrance of the tent was suddenly pulled open, and a silver-robed person with the scent of wine strided out. Those surrounding guards hurriedly bowed and greeted upon seeing this. Northern Pavilion Chief. Yes. The silver-robed figure responded faintly. His appearance was that of the Wind Lightning Pavilion's Northern Pavilion Chief, Fate Yan, who had chased Xiao Yan with the intention to kill the latter back then. There was not much change in him during these two of three years. However, his aura was vaguely becoming richer. There was a strange feeling of having half a foot into the next level. The Pavilion Chief is receiving important guests within the tent. Do not allow anyone to disturb him. All of you should pay a little more attention. Fate Yan felt the cold wind before glancing at the experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion around and spoke in a deep voice. Understood. Everyone hurriedly replied upon hearing the order. Fate Yan finally nodded with satisfaction upon seeing this. He was about to turn around and return to the tent when he suddenly frowned slightly. His eyes looked towards that mountain road that led down the mountaintop. There was vaguely some noise being transmitted from over that side. What happened? Fate Yan frowned slightly and demanded. This. Northern Pavilion Chief, please calm your anger. This subordinate will go and take a look. An expert, whose strength had reached the strength of a Du Huang, 
moved his body and rushed towards the bottom of the mountain. Bang. This wind lightning pavilion expert had just charged down the mountain when a muffled sound suddenly appeared before Fate Yan could even recover. Immediately, a human figure was shot backwards while being accompanied by a miserable cry. Over a dozen tents collapsed along the way. Who dares to find trouble in the territory of my wind lightning pavilion? Are you seeking death? This scene instantly caused many experts from the wind lightning pavilion on the top of the mountain to change. The expression of Fate Yan also slowly turned gloomy capture them, dead or alive. Hearing the cry from Fate Yan that contained a great fury, the many experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion also cried out furiously. Immediately, their figures flashed and they rushed down the mountain, while accompanied by waves of rushing wind and fierce expressions. Fate Yan also slowly took a step forward when he saw so many experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion attacking together. He would definitely teach that person who had caused trouble a good lesson after capturing him. Boom 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 boom. However, Fate Yan had just took a step forward when a wave of low and deep flesh colliding sound suddenly appeared. Immediately, those wind lightning pavilions experts that had rushed down fiercely were sent flying back. Blood wildly spluttered as they heavily landed on the top of the mountain. Moans appeared continuously. This scene directly caused Fate Yan's footstep to stiffen. A solemnness surged up his gloomy face. By being able to finish off all the numerous experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion with such swiftness, it was likely that the one who had come was not some weakling. May I know which friend has attacked? This is the campsite of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Hopefully, on account of the Wind Lightning Pavilion's face. Fate Yan's eyes were focused on the mountain road as he spoke in a deep voice. Ha ha, Pavilion Chief Fate Yan, we have not met for a couple of years, but you still like to use the name of the Wind Lightning Pavilion. Before Fate Yan could finish his sentence, a laughter was slowly transmitted from below the mountaintop. Immediately, a large group of figures slowly appeared in Fate Yan's sight. The young man leading them directly caused Fate Yan's eyes to shrink abruptly. Xiao Yan? Seeing that face that left a deep impression in Xiao Yan's mind, a dark and chilly expression instantly surfaced on Fate Yan's face. Back then, Xiao Yan had once caused him to lose his face. Even until now, that matter would occasionally be used as a joke by others. This caused the desire to kill Xiao Yan to become increasingly rich within Fate Yan's heart. It was unexpected that he would meet Xiao Yan again in this place today. I thought who it was. It is actually the people from the Falling Star Pavilion who has just been chased away. Fate Yan glanced at Elder Ha and Elder Ki at the side. A ridicule flashed across his face as he spoke. You. The expressions of the two elders instantly turned green upon hearing those words. A fury surged within their eyes. If it was not because the two of them were no match for Fate Yan, it was likely that they would not be able to control themselves and attacked. Why? You have found some helpers and are prepared to get back at us? Fate Yan merely smiled when he saw this. The mockery in his smile grew denser. Although he was unable to see through little fairy doctor's group, he did not treat them as elite du zuns. One was that the latter was too young, and the second was that his heart thought that Xiao Yan did not have the qualification to befriend Du Zun's, given his ability. Fate Yan, resolve any trouble quickly. Do not disturb the pavilion chief's good mood. Two figures suddenly rushed out from within the tent. They immediately landed beside Fate Yan and spoke in a deep voice. Yes, I will leave the others to you. Leave Xiao Yan to me. I will let this brat properly return the debt from back then. Fate Yan revealed a ferocious expression and spoke in a low voice. Fate Yan did not wait for the response from the two others after uttering those words. Silver glow flashed under his feet, and he actually disappeared into nowhere. A slight arc was lifted on Xiao Yan's calm face the moment Fate Yan disappeared. His foot took half a step forward. After which, his hand aimed at the space in front of him and clenched gently. After this hand was his was clenched, the space in front of Xiao Yan immediately converged in a lightning-like manner. A figure also appeared in the converged space. If one was to carefully look at it, it was surprisingly Fate Yan, who had just disappeared. However, the face of Fate Yan was currently already replaced by shock and terror. Using a hand to collapse space. This kind of ability. Only an elite Du Zun could do this. Lei Zunji, aren't you afraid of causing your wind lightning pavilion to lose face by letting such little kitten and puppy come out? Xiao Yan did not even give Fate Yan a glance after having restrained the latter with a random palm. His eyes directly looked towards the tent and smiled slightly. After which, he flicked his finger. 
The chest of Fate Yan, who was within the converged space, was bent inwards by half an inch. A mouthful of fresh red blood shot out. His figure also flew backwards like a cannonball. After which, it violently smashed into the interior of the spacious tent in front of the shocked eyes of the two other Wind Lightning Pavilion's pavilion chiefs. End of chapter. Chapter 1237. Roll down. Rip. Fate Yan violently shot into the interior of the tent like a cannonball. A fierce force exploded at this moment. One could hear a ripping sound, and the tent was actually blasted into countless number of fragments that danced in the sky. It immediately fell slowly. Seeing that Xiao Yan was actually this ruthless in his attack, the surrounding experts from the Wind Lightning Pavilion were also stunned. For an instant, no one actually dared to say anything. Young fellow, you are really bold. The tent was blasted apart. It appeared as though those within it were stunned by this action of Xiao Yan. A moment later, someone finally recovered. A furious roar that was filled with the desire to kill resounded over this entire sky. The current Bone Mountain range had already been filled by an endless sea of people. There were people everywhere. When Xiao Yan's group was charging over with surging killing intent, quite a number of people became aware that there was about to be a good show. Hence, rushing wind sound appeared in this entire sky the moment this roar sounded. In the blink of an eye, numerous figures had appeared in the sky around the mountain. The eyes of these people glanced onto the mountaintop. After which, they saw the tent that was forcefully ripped apart. In an instant, a surprise surged within everyone's eyes. The Wind Lightning Pavilion could be considered to be quite a strong faction on the Central Plains. Otherwise, they would not possess the qualification to occupy a mountaintop as a campsite here. It was unexpected that there was actually someone who dared to openly attack. How could this not cause them to feel shock and curious? Xiao Yan ignored those observers that had suddenly appeared around the place. His eyes looked towards the part of the tent that had been broken. Lei Zunji, whom he had met long ago, was currently standing with a gloomy face. At this moment, his hand was grabbing Fate Yan's robes. There were two old men in beast robes beside Lei Zunji. However, these two people did not open their mouths at this moment. Instead, they chose to stand idly by the side and observe the situation. Grug. Fate Yan, who was in Lei Zunji's hand, spat out a mouthful of fresh blood. His dim eyes contained an expression of disbelief. The strength that Xiao Yan had displayed earlier had definitely reached the Du Zun class. Even though he had seen it with his own eyes, he was still unable to believe it. This younger generation whom he had chased until the point where the former could only hide like a mouse, had currently reached the Du Zun class before him. Xiao Yan, you are really bold. Back then, this venerable self had let you off on account of Feng Zunji. Yet, you actually dare to deliver yourself today? Lei Zunji's face was dark and solemn. He slowly placed Fate Yan in his hand down. His low and deep thunder-like voice was filled with killing intent. The Wind Lightning Pavilion was used to being overbearing during these years. Currently, they were being bullied by a younger generation in such a place. If he let the matter today arrest, he would really lose all of his face. Although he spoke in this manner with his mouth, the shock in Lei Zunji's heart was currently not any less than Fate Yan. He was extremely clear about Xiao Yan's strength back then. The latter was merely a younger generation who had just advanced to the Du Zong class. At that time, the status of the latter in Lei Zunji's heart was not much higher than that of an ant. Yet, within a short two to three years, the younger generation from back then had actually soared to the Du Zun class. Being an expert of the Du Zun class, Lei Zunji naturally understood just how difficult it was to leap across this step. Fate Yan might currently be at the peak of the Du Zong class, but if he lacked the luck, it was not a rare occurrence for him to remain at that level forever. It was also because of the difficulty of taking this step that his heart would feel that shocked when he saw the current Xiao Yan for the first time. Lei Zunji really knows how to joke. Back then, it is just that the skill of the Wind Lightning Pavilion Disciple being inferior to others. It is completely unrelated to your magnanimity. Xiao Yan laughed softly. Back then, Lei Zunji was an elite Du Zun whom he could not match in his eyes. Now, however, this high existence that he could not reach back then, was no longer even the least bit strong and mysterious in his heart. Lei Zunji's face twitched. The fury within his eyes also became increasingly rich. He spoke in a dense manner, we have not met for a couple of years, but your tongue is still as sharp as ever. This venerable self shall advise you to leave as soon as possible. On the account of Feng Zunji, this venerable self shall not make a fuss about this matter with you, this younger generation. Lei Zunji has joked again. 
Your wind lightning pavilion has attacked my falling star pavilion in front of so many people. Could this also be because of Feng Zunji's face? Xiao Yan laughed. That mocking tone also caused some laughter to appear around the mountaintop. Lei Zunji slowly clenched his fist. His eyes stared intently at Xiao Yan as he ended up laughing from extreme anger. Good, good, looks like you have come prepared today. In that case, this venerable self shall see just what you, as someone who has just entered the Du Zun class, can do today? Nothing much. All I am going to do is to retrieve the Falling Star Pavilion campsite. Xiao Yan smiled slightly. He slowly stepped forward. Purple-brown flame slowly surged. The temperature of this entire place swiftly increased as the flame rose. In that case, we'll have to see whether you possess such qualification. Lei Zunji laughed furiously. Bright silver lightning glow flickered over his body. Countless number of electric snakes danced. Looking from a distance, it appeared as though a thunder god had descended. His aura was extremely shocking. Seeing the atmosphere between the two swiftly becoming a tense sword drawn one, the eyes of the many experts around also became fiery hot. A Du's unclass battle would be quite an interesting one. He he, this Xiao Yan is really arrogant. He actually dares to oppose Lei Zunji. Looks like he is here to find trouble. Earlier, the Wind Lightning Pavilion had forcefully chased the Falling Star Pavilion away and had even injured someone. I thought that the Falling Star Pavilion will definitely not just swallow this offense. It is unexpected that they have come so quickly. It is not so easy to find this trouble. This place not only have Lei Zunji present. Moreover, have you seen the two old men beside Lei Zunji? Those are the tribe leaders of the Earth Tiger tribe and the Silver Moon Wolf tribe. They are the subsidiary tribe of the Heaven Demon Phoenix. Given the relationship between the Wind Lightning Pavilion and the Heaven Demon Phoenix, do you think that the two of them will just stand idly by the side? Three elite Du Zuns whose strength had reached the peak of two stars. This trouble is made of metal however. This Xiao Yan's name is a little familiar. Damn it, how can it not be familiar? Isn't it the young alchemist who had become the champion of the pill gathering conducted by the pill tower? It is unexpected that he would actually appear in this place after disappearing for over a year. Xiao Yan acted as though he did not notice these surrounding eyes that had suddenly become fiery hot. Purple brown flame rose on his body. Back then, the Du's unpressure that seemed undefeatable was currently unable to deter him by even a little. Ha ha, this young friend. The matter today is just a misunderstanding. The matter of the two friends from the Falling Star Pavilion is merely because Pavilion Chief Fate Yan is too irritable and had accidentally hurt them when attacking. Moreover, Pavilion Chief Fate Yan is currently injured by you. These matters can more or less make up for each other. Therefore, I will like to trouble young friend to stop on account of the Earth Tiger Tribe and the Silver Moon Wolf Tribe. What do you say? When the atmosphere became increasingly tense, an old man in tiger pattern robes, who had remained quiet by the side, finally laughingly said. The lightning glow on Lei Zunji's body was withdrawn slightly when he heard the old man speak. He spoke faintly, since the tribe leader of the Earth Tiger tribe had opened his mouth, this venerable self will naturally give you face. This matter. Since this old mister has put it this way, Lei Zunji, please. Xiao Yan smiled slightly. He gently waved his hand, and the Falling Star Pavilion disciples behind him formed a pathway that led to the foot of the mountain. The face of Lei Zunji immediately became gloomy upon seeing this scene. The smile on the tiger-robed old man's face also solidified. He said, this young friend, must you really do things in such an extreme manner? The Wind Lightning Pavilion had destroyed the reputation of my Falling Star Pavilion in public. This old mister, are you intending to allow my face to carry this slap back to the Falling Star Pavilion? The smile on Xiao Yan's face was slowly withdrawn. A fierce glint flashed within his dark black eyes. Faced with this Xiao Yan, whose demeanor had suddenly become forceful, Lei Zunji and the two beast-robed elders also had a slight change in their expressions. A chillness immediately surged in their eyes. Good fellow, you actually possess such boldness in the face of three Du Zuns. You are indeed worthy of being the pill-gathering champion. Xiao Yan's sudden uncharacteristic slight smile and politeness also caused everyone to be shocked. Immediately, some low cheer sounded. I do not care about just how outstanding you are in the human world. However, this place is the beast region. It is not a place where you can behave atrociously. The tiger robe old man's expression became icy cold as he spoke in a deep voice. Leave this place and we can let the matter rest. 
otherwise, even if Feng Zunji is here today, I will let you, this younger generation, understand just where is this place. The other silver-haired old man with brutal eyes also spoke in a dense manner. After his words sounded, two vast and mighty aura also suddenly surged out from within the bodies of those two. Immediately, it swept apart like a storm. It caused the expressions of those surrounding experts to change slightly. All of them hurriedly withdrew. Three elite Du Zuns stood tall on this mountaintop. That frightening pressure was just like a tall mountain that crushed onto Xiao Yan's group. Xiao Yan slowly exhaled a breath of air when faced with this frightening pressure. Immediately, he once again took two steps forward in front of everyone's eyes. His fingers still continued to point towards the foot of the mountain. A low and deep voice resounded beside everyone's ears like a muffled thunder. This is the final time I'm saying this. Roll down from here or descend while lying down. Xiao Yan's icy cold voice slowly fell. Three hidden frightening aura behind him also erupted without holding back at this moment. The appearance of these three auras had basically forcefully scattered the energy pressure that pounced over in an instant. Rumble. Faced with the sudden retaliation from such a frightening aura, the expressions of Lei Zunji's group immediately changed. Their feet also hurriedly took two steps back. Four Du Zuns? End of chapter. Chapter 1238. Spatial Seal. Four vast and mighty auras were entangled like an enormous dragon. The powerful pressure formed at that moment not directly shook Lei Zunji trio until they took two continuous steps back, but the faces of those wind lightning pavilion experts around them also became ghastly pale. Even their breathing had become heavy. Their eyes were also covered with shock. The majestic aura that suddenly erupted also stirred an uproar around the place. Everyone were stunned as they looked at Little Fairy Doctor's three people group, which was standing behind Xiao Yan. At this moment, they finally discovered that the three people, who kept an unusually low profile while quietly standing behind Xiao Yan, were actually also genuine Du Zun class experts. In this way, if one included Xiao Yan himself, four elite Du Zuns would have appeared on the Falling Star Pavilion's side. This kind of lineup was far from what the Wind Lightning Pavilion could compare with. Lei Zunji's body quickly paused after having taken two steps back. His eyes contained a shocked expression as he looked at the three people behind Xiao Yan. Other than that unfamiliar-looking strong man, he discovered that the beautiful young lady and the old man beside her had actually reached the peak of the three star Du Zun class. Such strength was definitely not any weaker than him. How is this possible? Since when did the falling star pavilion possess so many elite Du Zuns? A great storm brewed within Lei Zunji's heart. Most of those which could become a renowned faction in the Central Plains did indeed possess some hidden foundation. However, it had also been some centuries since his Wind Lightning Pavilion had been founded. If one was to count, its history was even longer than that of the Falling Star Pavilion. Yet, the foundation to take out three Du Zun class expert offhand was a little overly rich. Those two beast robe old men beside Lei Zunji also had a slight change in expression at this moment. Finally, they began to felt that things were troublesome. Four Du Zuns. Even if one sum up the peak experts from both their clans, it was likely that they would not make such a figure. Under the pressure of this vast and mighty aura, the atmosphere on the mountaintop had also become a lot more constrained. The Wind Lightning Pavilion disciples, who were still proud earlier, were looking at each other at this moment. They did not dare to make any unusual movement. This friend. That old man in tiger robes widened his mouth. He wanted to say something, but could only wisely keep his mouth shut after seeing Xiao Yan's icy cold face. He turned his head and looked at the increasingly gloomy-looking Lei Zunji beside him. In this current situation, it was obvious that the Wind Lightning Pavilion was at a disadvantage. It would be fine if they leave as soon as possible. Should a battle end up occurring and they were forcefully thrown out, they would only end up losing even more face. Lei Zunji's expression was as deep as water. His eyes were staring intently at Xiao Yan. A moment later, he finally clenched his teeth and said, Great brat. If I knew this back then, I would have personally killed you. Xiao Yan smiled slightly, ignoring this kind of hindsight that had occurred many years later. Go. That smile of Xiao Yan caused Lei Zunji's heart to erupt into an endless fury after the latter saw it. However, in this current situation, he also understood that with the strength of Xiao Yan's group, it was sufficient to forcefully throw them down the mountain. The hero did not seek to suffer an obvious loss. The experts from the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe had yet to arrive. At that time, there would naturally be the opportunity for this little bastard to cry. 
Lei Zunji waved his hand after forcefully suppressing the fury in his heart. After which, he walked towards the mountain road that led to the foot of the mountain with a gloomy expression. The many wind lightning cloud disciples behind him also kept their tents in a depressed manner before following him like dogs that had lost their homes. Xiao Yan, it is too early for you to be happy. This venerable self will come and seek payment for the trouble today. Lei Zunji paused and spoke in a dense low voice when he was passing by Xiao Yan. I will await you anytime. Xiao Yan smiled and said. Humph. Lei Zunji's face twitched upon seeing this situation. He suddenly waved his sleeve and led the entire group away. A cheer immediately erupted amongst the disciples of the Falling Star Pavilion as they watched the miserable-looking Wind Lightning Pavilion disciples withdrawing from this place. Their eyes contained some additional respect when they looked at Xiao Yan. When their pride were stepped on by others, Xiao Yan had led them to regain their pride. At this moment, these disciples felt for the first time that the Falling Star Pavilion might become increasingly strong if they had such a junior pavilion chief. Huh. Mu King Luan, whose emotions had been tensed, also quietly sighed in relief. She secretly glanced at Xiao Yan by the side. This fellow was not even the least bit afraid even when faced an expert renown in the central plains like Lei Zunji. This point was completely different from a couple of years ago. Set up the tents first. Xiao Yan smilingly said. Understood. The orders of Xiao Yan at this moment undoubtedly had some weight within the hearts of the Falling Star Pavilion's disciples. Hence, all the disciples from the Falling Star Pavilion responded in Yuzhen after hearing him speak. They immediately scattered and once again set up the tents. Seeing that this fight for a campsite on this mountaintop was finally over, those human figures in the surrounding sky finally shook their heads while not feeling satisfied. After which, they scattered. The big battle that they had anticipated the most did not erupt. This caused them to feel a little depressed. Xiao Yan, although we have frightened off the Wind Lightning Pavilion today, they will definitely be unwilling to crush their teeth and swallow them. Therefore, you should be careful. Mu King Luan reminded. Yes. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. He said, our main aim is the soul baby fruit. No matter what happens, we must obtain this thing. If the Wind Lightning Pavilion really wished to intervene, they should not blame us for being ruthless. Mu King Luan nodded slowly as she looked at the chillness flickering on the young face. She said, I am not worried about the Wind Lightning Pavilion. This place is after all the beast region. The Wind Lightning Pavilion has a good relationship with the Heaven Demon Phoenix. If they were to intervene at that time. We will deal with the situation accordingly when trouble arise. Even if today's event did not occur, the Heaven Demon Phoenix will still attack if they view me as an eyesore. Xiao Yan smiled randomly. He slowly walked to the edge of the mountaintop. His eyes were narrowed as he looked at the middle of the mountain range. That direction is the place where the ancient remains has appeared this time around. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. He could sense that there was some distorted arc in that space. Clearly, the owner had placed an extremely powerful barrier on the ancient remains. There are many dangers within this ancient remains. Quite a number of extremely powerful ancient puppets guards that place. Additionally, there are also some strange traps. Even an elite Du Zun will not dare to be careless. Elder Ha, who was behind Xiao Yan spoke respectfully, the ancient remains is hidden within a spatial seal. Every once in a while, some crack lines will appear on the spatial ripple. Quite a number of powerful people has barged in during this period of time. However, most of them ended up escaping miserably from it. Oh. Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows. It seemed that this ancient remains must still not be underestimated despite it having experienced such a great amount of time. However, no elite Du Zuns has entered it up till now. This spatial seal possessed a restriction ability. If an elite Du Zun tries to forcefully enter, it will trigger an extremely powerful seal backlash. A seal that is placed by an elite Du Sheng is not something that an ordinary Du Zun would dare to test with his body, despite the seal having experienced countless amount of time. No Du Zuns has entered? Xiao Yan frowned immediately when he heard this. Did that not mean that he was also unable to enter? Kiki, junior chief need not be worried. This seal is already extremely thin. At the very most, the seal will gradually scatter after a few more days. Without the defense of the seal, elite's Du Zuns will also be able to safely enter it. Currently, there are quite a number of elite Du Zuns around the ancient remains who are waiting for this moment. Elder Ha fondled his beard and smilingly explained. Xiao Yan sighed in relief only after hearing this. His eyes swept over the surrounding lush green mountains. 
was his sharp spiritual perception, he could indeed sense some extremely vague majestic aura. A surprise involuntarily flashed across his eyes at this moment. It was indeed worthy of being an ancient remains. This many elite Duzuns were actually attracted by it. It appeared that a bloody fight would be unavoidable in this remains battle. Did you discover anyone from the Hall of Souls? A thought suddenly passed through Xiao Yan's heart as he asked. Elder Ha frowned slightly upon hearing this. He voiced his thoughts, I have not seen them until now. However, those fellows are usually strange and unpredictable. Even if they have come, it is likely that the two of us will not be able to discover them. However, based on the guess of the old me, the rumors about this ancient remains is spread quite widely. The Hall of Soul will likely also intervene. However, we do not know just how many experts has come. Xiao Yan smiled slightly and nodded. A chillness flashed across his eyes. The ones whom you need to be worried about in this Bone Mountain range is not the Hall of Soul. Being the owners of this place, the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python are the most troublesome to deal with. Not only did these fellows possess a large number, but there are many experts amongst them. Even the Heaven Demon Phoenix tribe is unwilling to exchange blows with them. However, I feel that things are a little strange. This place can be considered the territory of the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe. Given their character, they actually did not choose to seal off the mountain range. Instead, they had allowed this news to spread. Mu King Luan softly spoke in a somewhat doubtful manner. Nine Serene Deep Ground Python. Xiao Yan muttered to himself. He also nodded slightly. By being able to become one of the three great tribes of the magical beast world, this Nine Serene Deep Ground Python was definitely not an ordinary faction. Kiki, currently, the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe, is unable to even take care of themselves. Where would they find the effort to come and manage this ancient remains? Elder Hush shook his head and laughed when he heard this. Unable to take care of themselves? What has happened? Mu King Luan asked in surprise. I am also not certain about this. However, from the information that we have inquired, some of the experts from the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe has disappeared in a baffling manner recently. An elite Duzun from the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe is included amongst these missing experts. Currently, they are crazily searching for the murderer. Hee <laughs> hee, the thing that is really unbelievable is that the one who has attacked the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe is actually alone. Elder Ha fondled his beard and sighed. The expressions of Xiao Yan and Mu King Luan were that of being shocked upon hearing these words. Just who was this strong person who actually dared attack the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe? End of chapter. Chapter 1239. Black Shadow Person. Elder Hu smiled as he looked at the surprised expression of Xiao Yan and Mu King Luan. He said, this matter has caused an uproar all over the place recently. Many people were very curious just what kind of great being that murderer is. He actually dares to attack the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python, the local ruler of this beast region. It was really touching something that one should not touch. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. By being able to become one of the three great tribes in the magical beast world, it was sufficient to indicate the strength of the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe. As the saying went, a powerful dragon did not suppress the local snake. Even the renowned great factions on the Central Plains would give the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe some face in this place. Unless one's mind was a little mad, otherwise, one would not easily offend them. It was also because of this that Xiao Yan would feel so surprised when he heard that there was actually someone who was finding trouble with the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python in the Bone Mountains. Perhaps it is just some enemies from the past. Mu King Luan hesitated before commenting. Who knows? If it is an enemy, he would definitely eradicate the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe. However, from the rumors that had spread during this period of time, the opponent of that fellow was completely the strongest experts within the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python. The lives of some of the weaker ones were not taken even when they met that mysterious killer. Elder Hull laughed bitterly. He was also extremely confused about this strange tactic of the mysterious killer. Xiao Yan also frowned slightly upon hearing this. This person was indeed quite strange. As the saying went, it is easy to pinch a soft persimmon. However, this person did things in an opposite fashion. He purposefully find the troublesome opponents. Was this not trying to make things difficult for himself? Those nine serene deep ground python experts who had met that mysterious killer had all disappeared without exception. It was impossible to even find their corpse. This was the aspect that caused the nine serene deep ground python tribe to panic a little. The most important thing of a tribe was its bloodline. 
No one knew if that mysterious killer is preparing for something by gathering so much nine serene deep ground python blood. Elder Huss said. Forget it, this matter is unrelated to us. Let's quietly stay on this mountaintop for these few days and constantly monitor the activity of the ancient remains. Additionally, tell everyone not to walk around the place. The Bone Mountain Range is currently very chaotic. It would be troublesome if some matter is created. Xiao Yan mused for a moment. After failing to gain any conclusion, he could only shake his head. His thoughts were turned away from this matter as he opened his mouth and said. Understood. Elder Ha hurriedly replied in a respectful voice when he heard this. Next, we shall wait for the ancient remains to open. Xiao Yan's eyes leaped over the many mountaintops, looked towards the somewhat distorted space at the middle of the mountain range, and softly muttered. After driving away the people from the Wind Lightning Pavilion, Xiao Yan's group settled down and set up tent on this mountaintop once again. During the subsequent few days, the disciples from the Falling Star Pavilion had obeyed Xiao Yan's orders. None of them left the mountaintop. They spent their day training and sparring. In any case, the size of the mountaintop was quite large. It was sufficient for their activities. During this quiet wait, Xiao Yan's group was also able to discover that the number of experts gathering at this Bone Mountain range was also increasing. At the end, this entire mountain range was still lively even deep in the night. The noise directly charged to the clouds. Three days passed in the blink of an eye amidst this kind of wait. During these three days, the Wind Lightning Pavilion, which was thrust away in a miserable manner, did not come and seek trouble. Although Xiao Yan's group understood that Lei Zunji would definitely not be able to easily swallow the Sankar, he was at the very least aware that before he possessed the strength to defeat four Du Zuns, he would not foolishly come and seek his own humiliation. Everyone had been passing these three days on the mountaintop. They did not disturb anyone nor did anyone disturb them. The laid-back waiting was undoubtedly much better than the surrounding mountain range that was filled with fiery hot conflict. With the gradual passage of the three days, the distorted space within the middle of the mountain range also became increasingly thin. Clearly, the spatial seal that had existed for countless number of years was about to disappear. The thinning seal also caused the atmosphere of the entire mountain range to become unusually fiery hot. Under the allure of the ancient remains, it appeared that everyone was much more hot-tempered. Even the slightest conflict would immediately be escalated to a life and death battle. Based on the rate at which the seal was changing, the seal would completely disappear in at the very most two days' time. At that time, the ancient remains that had existed for countless number of years would be once again revealed in this world. The night was as cool as water. The icy cold moonlight scattered down from the sky and shone onto the well-lit mountain range. It added a layer of mysterious yarn over the entire mountain range. Xiao Yan was seated on a large rock at the edge of the mountaintop. From this spot, he was coincidentally able to overlook more than half of the mountain range. He could still see quite a number of human figures and torchlight flashing at the foot of the mountain. Xiao Yan raised his head and looked at the bright moon in the sky. His mind became a little absent-minded. An elegant and beautiful fit-looking figure vaguely appeared in front of him, appearing just like the fairy in the moon. Shunner. Wait for me. Once I have resolved the issue of teacher's body, I will begin traveling to the Gu clan. Xiao Yan's fist was clenched slowly. A determination flashed across his eyes. Regardless of just how mysterious and powerful the Gu clan was, it would definitely not hinder he and Shunur from being together. The current Xiao Yan could already be truly considered as a top-tier expert in the Du Qi continent. It was difficult for him to find any opponents from the same age group. With this hard work and achievement, he believed that he would definitely not lose even when faced with those young outstanding individuals from the Gu clan who possessed the bloodline of a Du Di. Xiao Yan gently exhaled a breath. That graceful figure in his mind suddenly fluctuated without any warning. Immediately, a bewitching icy cold pretty face suddenly appeared. Kai Lin. A complicated bitter smile surfaced on Xiao Yan's face as a beautiful and alluring face flashed across his mind. He softly muttered, I wonder. That child in her womb. Has he or she been born? The moment he thought of this, Xiao Yan felt as though a tight string deep within his heart had been touched. Unexpectedly, the current him was soon about to become a father. He wondered if his father would wear his happiness on his brows if he was aware of this. Chi. A slight sound of wind being split suddenly resounded in the night sky while Xiao Yan was feeling absent-minded. This sound might be feigned, but it was still sensed by Xiao Yan, who had an extremely sharp awareness. Immediately, 
he turned his head and saw a black figure diving down from the night sky like an old eagle. Both of this person's hands were placed together and a tent emitted a sound of being burst apart. After the tent burst apart, it revealed Zian, who was in a deep sleep within it. However, the latter's perception was quite strong. She suddenly widened her eyes just when the tent was torn apart. A shock was felt when she looked at the black shadow pouncing over. Subsequently, she swiftly withdrew with her small feet. Who are you, thief? Xiao Yan was startled. A fury immediately surged up his eyes. His hand slammed the large rock under his body. After which, his body flew out like a large bird and pounced towards the black shadow person. When Xiao Yan approached, he began to gradually realize that the size of the black shadow was clearly delicate and small. One could even vaguely see some curves formed by her clothes. It indicated her background. A ferocious ghost-like mask was worn on her face, causing her to appear exceptionally mysterious. That black shadow appeared as though she did not hear Lin Dong's cry. A strange green light was suddenly erupted from under the ghost mask. This green light flashed and shone onto the face of Zian, who was pulling back. Zian felt her sight become blurry when the light shone over. Even her mind had become a little absent-minded. Roar. A purple key suddenly surged over her face, while Zian's mind was absent-minded. A half a foot long purple dragon surfaced. Immediately, it curled and rose while roaring furiously towards the sky. The dragon roar rose in a majestic manner, and the green light collapsed almost instantly. Ugh. Why is it not a snake? That black shadow with a ghost mask was immediately stunned when she saw the purple dragon on Zian's face. Immediately, a slight dumbfounded voice sounded. Bang. The three tents around the entire place immediately burst apart while the black shadow was startled. Little fairy doctor, Tian Ho Zunji and Xiong Zhan flashed and appeared. They saw the black shadow person attacking Zi Yan with a glance. All of their expressions immediately changed slightly. Watch after Zi Yan. Xiao Yan cried out in a deep voice. His body moved and he appeared in front of the black shadow person. He clenched his hand, and the purple-brown flame was agglomerated into a large hand that violently slammed towards the latter's head. The black shadow figure hurriedly withdrew when faced with this ferocious attack by Xiao Yan. An unusual green glow flashed under the ghost mask. It easily received the large fire hand. Immediately, the figure moved and swiftly rushed out of the mountaintop. Clearly, she was also aware that it was pointless to stay any longer. You wish to leave? Xiao Yan's face sunk when he saw this. This person was too unusual. Moreover, her target was clearly Zi Yan. If he did not capture and interrogate her, there would definitely be much trouble in the future. Silver light flashed under Xiao Yan's feet, while this thought flashed across his heart. After which, it swiftly chased that black shadow person. His body moved and he appeared on the latter's head. Flame spread over his fist as it was once again violently smashed down. Upon sensing the fierce wind that erupted over from above her head, the green light under the ghost mask of the black shadow person once again flashed. Immediately, a strong black shadow suddenly appeared behind her in a strange fashion. Dark black water covered the fist of this figure as it immediately threw a violent punch that collided with the fire punch of Xiao Yan. Bang! A frightening storm spread when the two fists collided. Xiao Yan's body shook and he took a couple of steps back. That strong human figure took two continuous steps back before his body shook and once again disappeared in a strange manner. By the time Xiao Yan had recovered, that black shadow person had already rushed into the vast deep mountains. With the cover from the night, she disappeared within the blink of an eye. End of chapter. Chapter 1240. Opening of the Remains. Xiao Yan was suspended in the night sky. His eyes looked towards the spot where the black shadow had disappeared towards. He frowned slightly. This person did not directly exchange blows with him. Therefore, he was unable to probe the other party's strength. However, that unusual green light caused him to feel some danger. I wonder where this person has come from. Why did she attack Zi Yan? Xiao Yan softly muttered to himself. Currently, an increasing number of experts were attracted to the ancient remains. There was an unknown number of hidden experts amongst them. It seemed that they really needed to be careful during this trip. Chi. A couple wind-splitting sounds suddenly appeared while Xiao Yan was in deep thought. Immediately, a couple of figures swiftly rushed over. Their bodies paused when they were passing by. Their sharp eyes swept over Xiao Yan. There is the aura from that person here. Do we need to bring these people back for interrogation? The few figures paused. A fierce-looking young man's nose twitched slightly. 
His eyes contained a fierce glint as he suddenly looked towards Xiao Yan and said. Xiao Yan's eyes carefully observed these four people who had appeared. All of their auras were quite strong. Three amongst them had reached the peak of the Du Zong class. The one leading them was already in the Du Zong class. An obvious dark and chilly aura lingered over them, causing one to be afraid of slighting them. Members of the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe? Xiao Yan swept his eyes before pausing them on the special vertical pupils of these people. He narrowed his eyes as he muttered to himself within his heart. That scent has fled into the mountain forest. It is likely that she has exchanged blows with this person. The gray-robed old leader glanced at Xiao Yan in a hesitant manner. He could sense that the latter was also an elite Du Zun. It was best not to cause any additional trouble at this moment. Hence, he shook his head and directly turned his eyes towards the mountain forest, where the black shadow had disappeared towards. He waved his hand and said, Chase. He took the lead to move after uttering those words. His body transformed into a black shadow that rushed towards the forest. The three large men, with a murderous aura all over their bodies, closely followed from behind. The tribe members of the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python are a little overbearing. Xiao Yan sent off this group with his eyes while laughing coldly within his heart. If his strength was a little weaker today, it was likely that these people would really choose to bring him back first before talking. Looks like the black shadow person from earlier should be the mysterious person who has turned the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe upside down recently. However, why would she attack Ziyan? Xiao Yan mused for a moment while carrying this doubt within his heart. After which, he turned around and returned to the mountaintop. At this moment, everyone on the mountaintop had already been awakened due to the unexpected situation from earlier. Little Fairy Doctor's group hurriedly went forward to meet Xiao Yan upon seeing the latter's return. Xiao Yan landed and explained the matter earlier. Everyone had stunned faces when they heard that the attacker earlier was the mysterious killer who had caused an uproar recently. Doesn't that fellow purposefully target the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe? Why has she suddenly placed her focus on Ziyan? Little fairy doctor knitted her brows slightly and softly asked. Xiao Yan also shook his head. He glanced at Ziyan and laughed, perhaps the other party has treated this girl as a Nine Serene Deep Ground Python. Pooh, who would be those smelly large snakes? Ziyan curled her mouth. She immediately rubbed her brows, and a solemn expression flashed across her small face. She said, when the green light from that fellow shone over earlier, I feel like I was almost controlled by it. However, it is fortunate that I have the protection from my bloodline. Even though I will not be completely controlled by her, I will still lose my defensive ability for a short period of time. Xiao Yan's group was clearly startled when they heard these words. Ziyan had merely come into a single contact with the black shadow person earlier. Yet she was actually nearly controlled by the other party? This person is really strange. She is actually able to control one's mind. Since when did such a mysterious expert appear in the central plains? Why have I never heard of such a person before? Tian Ho Zunji frowned and said. Damn it, I will definitely burst her head the next time the old me meet her. If anything happened to this little grandaunt, the old me will also get into trouble. Xiang Zhan cursed. Xiao Yan revealed an expression of deep thought. He exchanged looks with little fairy doctor and softly said, Zi Yan should avoid running around during this period of time. She will follow beside us. This person is too strange. Moreover, she has an unknown origin. We must not allow her to gain any opportunity. Based on my guess, those experts from the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe, who had disappeared, have likely been controlled by her. What? Everyone's faces paled from shock when these words sounded. There were some Du Zun class experts from amongst those Nine Serene Deep Ground Python experts that had disappeared. If that person was even able to control a Du Zun, that would be a little too terrifying. Originally, I am able to stop her. However, an elite Du Zun has stopped me at the critical moment. That elite Du Zun's Du Qi is tilted towards the dark and chilly side. It is similar to the expert from the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe earlier. Therefore, Xiao Yan voiced his thoughts. This kind of ability to control others is something that I have never heard before. Even some of those sonic do technique that could confuse one's mind would have difficulty completely controlling an elite do zun. Little fairy doctor shook her head and said. Xiao Yan also nodded. This world was indeed filled with mysteries. It was likely that the Nine Serene Deep Ground Python tribe would suffer greatly by provoking such a mysterious person. Everyone should be more careful during these few days. The ancient remains will open the day after tomorrow. 
at that time, we will enter it at the earliest possible time. Otherwise, things will be troublesome if the soul baby fruit ends up being taken by someone first. Xiao Yan looked all around him and spoke in a deep voice. Understood. Everyone replied in Yuzhen upon hearing this. After that night's chaos, no other unexpected situation occurred. The sea of people on the Bone Mountain range multiplied. The noise similar charge into the clouds. Countless number of people were waiting for the ancient remains to open. Two days quietly flowed by like the sand between one's fingers amidst this anticipation from the tens of thousands of gazes. By the time a ray of morning light scattered down from the sky and broke through the darkness covering the mountain range two days later, the mountain range, which had become a little quiet, had basically erupted into an earth-shaking liveliness in an instant. Rushing wind sound appeared from all directions. Numerous human figures rushed towards the middle of the mountain range like locust. Xiao Yan's group on the mountaintop was also fully prepared. Due to the entry into the ancient remains being too dangerous, only Xiao Yan's small group would be entering it. The disciples from the Falling Star Pavilion and the two elders would remain here and wait for them. Although many felt regretful at not being able to enter this rarely seen ancient remains, no one objected to Xiao Yan's order. Currently, the latter had gradually established his own prestige within the Falling Star Pavilion. Xiao Yan stood at the side of the mountaintop and looked at the human figures from all directions. He involuntarily shook his head. It was unexpected that this ancient remains actually had such a frightening attraction. Let's go. Xiao Yan did not hesitate much. He waved his hand and his body took the lead to transform into a ray of light that rushed towards the middle of the mountain range. Little fairy doctor and the rest followed closely behind him. At this moment, a liveliness that was quite shocking had undoubtedly erupted in the Bone Mountain range. The origin of these life force was the countless number of human figures flying in the air. Under this kind of frightening atmosphere, even the kind of dark and cold aura unique to the Bone Mountain range had been forcefully diminished. With Xiao Yan's exceptional perception, he could sense those vague aura around the mountain range, which had been silent for a long time, beginning to move at this moment. They turned into numerous rays of light that hurried to the mountaintop. This ancient remains is truly going to have an intense fight. Even Xiao Yan involuntarily sighed softly upon sensing the strength of these aura. The difficulty of trying to successfully obtain that Yan class do technique in front of these many experts was quite large. It was not difficult to imagine just what kind of earth-shaking bloody battle would erupt in this bone mountain range in order to obtain that Yan class do technique. The mountain peak that Xiao Yan's group was at was already near the middle of the mountain range. Hence, after a mere couple of minutes, a distorted space appeared in front of their group's eyes. Xiao Yan's body moved as he watched the distorted space a short distance in front of him. He landed on a gigantic tree. After sweeping his eyes, he finally realized that this place had a 500-kilometer large basin. However, the current basin had already been filled by countless number of dense bones. Looking from a distance, the sea of dense white bones appeared quite glaring. It caused one to feel as though one's pores would stand. At this moment, some densely packed human figures stood around a sea of bones. Numerous heated eyes stared intently at the distorted space within the sea of bones. Once that spatial seal disappear, countless number of people would surge in continuously like a great wave. Xiao Yan's eyes swept over the surrounding sea of people. After which, it paused over some areas. His eyes were a little solemn. After a brief glance, he discovered that there were at least five elite three stars du Zun. A Yan class du technique does indeed possess an endless allure. Even elite du Zuns are unable to withstand this allure. Xiao Yan sighed softly in his heart. He also possessed some desire towards the Yan class du technique. However, he also understood within his heart just how difficult it was to successfully snatch the Yan class du technique from this kind of place. The possessor of it would be a magnet for trouble. Even if an elite Du Zun was to obtain the Tian class Du technique, whether he could successfully leave this bone mountain range would also be a question. I wonder whether my annihilation lotus flame or the Tian class Du technique is stronger. Xiao Yan blinked his eyes. A curiosity also rose within his heart. Bang! This entire sky suddenly erupted into a slight ripple, while Xiao Yan was quietly thinking within his heart. The eyes of countless number of people suddenly turned towards the Sea of Bones. Some ripples had already been formed in the space there. The ancient remains was finally going to see the light of day again. End of chapter.